Hello, Nurking101 here. We're back. Remember this guy? Greetings. Yeah. So um, Marvel decided because there was a Disney investor meeting on Friday, no, on Thursday the 10th, where they released a ton of trailers for all the Disney Plus shows, as well as a ton of new information about the plan for the events coming up with Marvel, as well as with everything else. They also confirmed Techstar shows, Star Wars shows, but who cares about all that? We're here to talk I about do. them. But we're here to, well, that's not what they care about at the moment. That's not what this video is about. We're here to talk about the Marvel shows. So we have a list both in front of us, and we are going to go through and talk about the trailers first, not like breakdowns, unless I, I may, we may pull them up, but we're not going to go through them. We're not going to go through, talk about the trailers, and then talk about all the news regarding the movies and new series. So, the first thing is probably the thing that we'll spend the least amount of time on, because I think we can both agree, it's kind of boring. Uh, WandaVision, second trailer. The show yeah. still looks good. Yeah, it looks good. I mean, look, very House of M looking. My biggest, my my only question with like with it is, um, from the looks of the trailer, it looks like they're insinuating that, like, or at least my guess is that in the trailer they say, like, somebody asks me, Wanda, Wanda, who's doing this to you? I feel like they're trying to set it up where it's like you think it's somebody doing it to them, and it's going to be revealed, like, oh, she's doing it to herself, because like we all know how House of M ends. Yeah, simple that starts like. I also don't think it would be too far fetched for them to do something where we're like, Wanda is doing it to herself, but there's also outside influence that's causing it's like, Wanda, who is making you like maybe somebody's making her feel so bad? Like, who's goading you into feeling so terribly that you're doing this? Yeah, because after an endgame, she looked like she was kind of at peace with it. Well, you know, we also need to remember that Endgame, it was immediate. That's true. For End, Endgame Wanda, the people that snapped, they died. And then it was like they undied immediately. She's the been Wanda, on so it's been like... The Wanda... No, it's died. been like... So first of all, the majority of what we see of Wanda is, is during, the, during the fight. That, that's just Wanda who's like... Okay, well, I don't want to die, and I want to kill Thanos. So, like, you, I, I, we have to win, 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 win. We haven't really seen Wanda after she's had time to process. We saw a bit of it with her and Ka her and Cap, but not really. Yeah. Hmm. But we also we also need to remember Cap and Tony were kind of father figure for her and me. I'm seeing you kind of mostly for me. It was mostly Clint. I know it was the big father figure. She's oh, like, yeah, but I mean, still like she still kind Tony of, locked her up. Tony no, locked but her all up. the Avengers like you know all the Avengers were kind of she, they 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 were they were definitely some kind of parental figure to her. Mm. And now they're dead. So. Well, the Fox deal, though, there will be a new parental figure, but we can only hope. Depends. Depends if they want to do the retconning or not. But no, I mean, I think the reason WandaVision is such a disappointment is just because WandaVision is so unique that I think everybody kind of saw the first trailer and went, okay, this is awesome. Yeah, it's like, it's there's nothing... We're, I don't think we're going to be surprised by anything. No, it's it, 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 it more just this looked like a really cool thing. Yeah, I did. I did hear though a really interesting fact about the first episode where it's gonna it's gonna be each episode is gonna be more closer like each skip a decade. Well, is it gonna be on based on like a like an era of sitcom television? Yeah. yeah. The first episode, which is the fifties, it was all shot in front of a studio audience. I heard. I, I did hear that. Apparently, they stopped. Apparently, they were going to do that for most of them. Oh, then COVID. Yeah. yeah, they started filming. They were able to shoot enough for the first episode. And then they had to switch to like the last track or some of the later stuff. I mean, you can't really oh, do... I'm wondering if we'll be able to spot the difference. I feel like 
you can definitely tell the difference between a live studio and a laugh track. Yeah. I mean, I feel like they'll probably make it obvious, especially if we, like the 90s, there weren't as many live studios. It's more like you crappy Nickelodeon Joe uh, laugh track. Mm. But so, yeah, I don't really have much to say on WandaVision. I don't know about you. I want all Sean back, but I know that's probably not going to happen in this Well, show. that's not going to happen in WandaVision. That's definitely not happening in WandaVision. I, what I want to ask you is, is this farewell for Vision? Is this it? Is that the nail in the coffin? I am, I'm, I'm wondering, like... I, mean, I that, have, that, the thing is, is, we haven't heard the act. Paul Bettany hasn't said he wants, I don't recall him being like, I want to stop. Yeah. A la RDJ. So it's either gonna be she accepts he's gone and he just disappears, or it'll lead into Doc Strange Martha Muscle Madness, where he's like, find me and I'll send a version where he's still alive. Or she finds a way to bring him back. Yeah. yeah there is one thing in the trailer. Other parts of him besides the stone. There is one thing in the trailer I want to talk about. Is there a thing in the trailer where he's like rebuilding an infinity stone? What was that? It looked it, it looked like that, yeah, because she's one of it, she's one of the Destroyed it. But I, I'm assuming that's hallucination. Like, I mean, they're not going to bring the stone back. That, that might be how she believes he's back. Yeah, it, it may be that, like, she, it may be a thing where to just to make it easier for the audience, she, they may be a thing like she needs to rationalize her reality changes. My, I do, have one like, she can change question. reality, but she needs to. She needs to rationalize what's going Yeah, like going come up with a backstory head. for come up with a backstory. Yeah, for like a writer. So maybe it's like she's like, well, vision back because I use my powers to reassemble the time. Obviously, that's impossible. I have one more question though about the show though. I know they are, they I know I know they they casted young Wiccan and uh, the other uh, silver kid. Yeah. Children. Are we going to see them as adults though? Like, will they? disappear at the end of the show or will I think they, they will around? I think they will I think I think Disney plus is going to be set up for a new thing but I think a lot of it you know what it is what is testing ground it's testing ground you can't you obviously can't afford to put this in a movie I think that's fair to say right mm-hmm. then you can't afford to put like you can't like the, the, a movie would. I don't think a, I don't think a WandaVision movie would, would be a very good idea from a business perspective. Yeah, it, it's too risky. So I feel like a lot of it is going to be like if it does well and the characters are well received, we'll see that brought back in a movie. Hmm. Just like I'm sure if Miss Marvel didn't do well, I'll, we'll get to Miss Marvel later. But if that didn't do well. I'm sure there's, 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 there's somebody whose literal job is to just is to, to hit the Miss Marvel removal button on the script for Captain Marvel too. They hit a button and she'll disappear. Like, I'm sure anything that doesn't do well, they have plans to be like, take it and throw it in the trash. And be like, bye. It's almost like the testing ground for these ideas that are too risky for a movie. So, uh, do, you want, do you have anything else to say, or should we move on to the thing people actually, the, the thing people care about the most, which is let's Falcon Winter Soldier, because that's yeah. obviously this is, Falcon Winter Soldier is the most and it's the most classic MCU thing on here. Yeah, very. It's much. Not it's not weird. It, well, it is. It, it's not wild. It's not weird. It's an action. It's an action show superhero <laughs> high fly adventure. Yeah, like uh, I okay, I was gonna get get the, the two things. Uh, the two things I really noticed is I love Falcon's new outfit. Oh, so good! The, the red and white, like. And Anthony uh, Mackie, I just want to say he is such a good actor, and I'm so ha- no no who played Winter Soldier. Uh, Sebastian. Sebastian. Sebastian Stan, right? No offense to Sebastian. Anthony Mackie is, is a, I think, is probably a better actor to be playing well, Captain he, he, M. He's had more experience. He's he's been been, been acting for a, a longer time. Well, no, I also think Mackie had more of that like heroic Captain America charisma. Oh yeah, like okay, I love Stan, but Aunt Mackie is clearly the gonna. Be Matt, a- Mackie has that like nice guy or like 
in real life, he gives off, like, Chris Evans and him give off this very nice guy aura, this, like, overly nice guy. Like, they can play bad people, but you met them in real life, they come across so nice. I know that Mackie himself, all the way back when they were promoting uh, Winter Soldier, he said that he wanted to wear this, wear the red and white spandex outfit and was so disappointed when he wore a, a, a military version. So I can only imagine he's really happy when they gave him this new suit. Well, well I, I'm just wondering, is he going to wear an actual Captain America suit? I heard that at the end, at the end, he's going to be wearing it. That's, I, yeah. it's like, I, I kind of heard like a, 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 a very big, but still not yet confirmed rumor that he is going to wear it. At the end. I, think, I think it's kind of obvious. I think it's kind of obvious that Falcon Winter Soldier will end with Falcon officially being Captain America. Yeah. So the the show, show, he doesn't have the shield in, in, in anything, any of the trailers. So I think it will end with him. We see him in that one part throwing it in the previous one, like the teaser. Well, no, but I feel like he'll lose it right away. He'll lose it in the first episode, and then he'll have to get it off, like get it back. My thing is, I don't think he's ever going to lose it. I think he's not going to pick it up. I think he's probably got it as house or something like that. And he's not. No, but I think uh, I, I unless the uh, unless the uh, well, U.S. agent. That's not. It's that's not. That's not Cap Shield. That's true. Yeah, it's a different field. You're right. Speaking of U.S. agent, this whole show there's like there's like there's there's three different plots going on. One is the government wanting to make their own Captain America to promote their own agenda. And of course, and of course, I don't know if they're gonna bring it up, but I do know it. But it is it, definitely gonna be picked up by other people watching. That the U.S. government is saying the black man can't be Cap and getting wants to give the deal to a white guy. Probably. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if they're gonna go into that, or, <laughs> just, or but that's definitely a subtle thing. You know, that's what's happening. Because you know, Sam Wilson is qualified. So yes, I'm sure. I'm sure the reason they're going to give is because oh, he hasn't he listened to them. <clears throat> but you know, that that he the racism against a black guy being capped. Kind of officially, like, I don't know if the government has even dropped the charges against him. Is he still a war criminal? Uh, honestly, you know what I think? I think at a certain point, you want to know what I think? Old what? man Chris. The government hat can't, doesn't, I, I'm sure the government's aware of Chris Evans. Uh, Chris Evans. Chris Evans, I, I hope Chris Evans is okay. Joe Biden cap? Yeah, Joe Biden cap. Who, by the way, I, I legitimately for a minute when I first saw that and Endgame thought it was Joe Biden. I was like, yeah, oh, they got, everybody did. Oh, they got, oh, they got Joe Biden to the end yeah, game. Every, everybody thought it was Joe Biden. He looks like, just like Biden. It's so weird. Yes, now it's really like, I'm so wondering in, the, in like 50 years, will Chris Evans actually look at Joe Biden? That would be, be so weird. Well, of course, I think we're for president in like 50 years. And everybody's like, it just don't go by it. All, like need, like all, 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 all we need to do is have him say corn pop in that scene. I'm like, oh my God. It's Joe wrong. Biden. Yeah. yeah. No, Biden. but uh, no, but uh, no, what I think the most likely outcome is, is me spitballing. Steve Roger probably showed up as an old man. Or even before that, before he went back, and they probably showed up, and Captain America just just held, stood there holding Mjolnir like guy. I, Tony Stark is dead <clears throat> now. And, it, it, and, it, and I can imagine Steve just goes and says, "Tony Stark is dead. He oh. died saving the universe. Get over yourself." And then you must cover, and the whole world is kind of like, maybe we shouldn't press charges against people who help save the entire universe. Maybe that's a bad PR look. Now, um, they, I know that they can't use this character because he's already used Jessica Jones, but I feel like if they... if they I mean, it's theory they could. Well, yes, yes, but if, I feel like... Then, but I feel like, though, that, that there's a reason that they can't use him anymore because he died in Jessica Jones. I actually, but, no way. But, they, can't, they can't use Jessica Jones characters yet. They're never... Yeah, I feel like if they could, they would have... They, I feel like they would have at least name-dropped Nuke since in the comics he was, he was like... Like U.S. agent used the government's first kind of attempt at making their own Captain America, and it went horribly wrong because they accidentally gave some Aryan Brotherhood guy the Captain America serum, and it went completely wrong. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I don't know. I think it will be very interesting to yeah. see how they now, handle it. Do you know? Do you know who the villains are in this? Like, I know Zemo, which is yeah, one of my Z- top Z- five Marvel villains. Zemo is the bad guy, right? No. The flag smashers are the bad guys. I don't know if they're working for Zemo, but Wait, those guys flag smasher. Oh flag God. smashers, yes, they're the terrorist organization. That doc. Yeah, they're a terror, like a low-level terrorist organization that has run into Deadpool and Captain America in the comic books. 
did well, both and killed him for the last that one. That sounds really, really stupid. Yeah. But yeah, they're they're low level kind of dumb villains. I think I'm not sure if Zemo's gonna be working with them or if he's gonna be kind of be like a recurring villain. I don't know. That sounds that sounds really stupid. All I, I know is I'm wearing his fucking purple well, sock and well, I'm happy. Well, excited for Falcon and Winter Soldier. It sounds uh it's the it it seems very the most generic out of all of them to me. Well I think like I'm just like, yeah, I mean I like Marvel movies, so I like this. Yeah, like again, I feel like this is the only one that's most but kind of more by the numbers but than, than the other ones, but I'm still by the way, you're nothing wrong with that because it's by the number I'm excited which, for it, but I'm just like it's it's still it, it, I think it's be, I think it's because it's by the number with two good. I think it's like it could kind of like being like it's by the numbers, but it's Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah, two really some of the best characters in the MCU are who but who we don't really get to you who were never really properly utilized until now. Yeah. In fact, you know, I know to promote it, they recently did a Captain America Winter Soldier comic book, and it's pretty good. Like they wanted to test the water, see can we make these two. Yeah, I know because because Marvel is so incompetent yeah. because the, 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 that they messed up because of COVID on the timeline that they put out the Winter Soldier book way too early. <laughs> What I'm like, hoping, though. There's a new, you know, there's a U.S. agent book out right now. That's wait, to buy what? Book. Yeah, they're putting out a U.S. agent book like right now to promote the show, and I'm like, oh god, the show's not the, the show's not going to be out for another year. You'll have to make another one. I, what I do hope is going to be in it though is in the Winter Soldier Falcon comic book. Comic book. Uh, Bucky has a pet cat, and I really want that cat to, cat to be in the show. I feel like there would be a problem with that. It's a big metal arm guy just petting a cat, like what, what trying to. the somewhere. problem with that is? <laughs> How long did it take Led Dead through the snap? Did the cat get snapped too? <laughs> well, I think he bought it. Probably will like, get it after the snap. Like, yeah. soon. I also want to say I really want a cameo from Evans. I don't think we're gonna get one, but I really want him to show up at one. Yeah, I don't think I. I'm, Chris Evans himself said he already regrets. Quitting. so maybe he'll come back down the line but i don't not, i'm not sure about that i'm probably not in this probably not in this i, I know I, what i think i don't mean young cap i mean like i yeah I, I'm, I'm almost kind of hoping we have a scene even if it's only small like 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 a, like a, like a scene like where we see cap there where we see old cap just sitting in the living room in new york city and he like walk it's almost like batman beyond like he walks out and like Sam Wilson is getting beat up and he just walks up with a cane and just like whacks some guy with a <laughs> cane. And, 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 and they're like, Who the hell are you? He's like, nah, I'm nobody important. I'm just an old guy. He just like beats the crap out of somebody with a cane. And then they say, Surrender. And he says, This A in my chair might have stand for France. Bam. No, oh my God. No, what it would be really cool. But <laughs> it's the final it's the final battle to play in in, in that and if the if it takes place at the White House, the final battle. That would actually be good. No, no and and Roger and Roger just and, and, and one guy is running away and just bunched into all of them and Roger to just wax them and say, get off my lawn, you rotting kid. But like, you, you know, say that? Isn't there like an actual Ultimate comic book where he said that? There is. No, it's, it's, also, it's alternate by one of my favorite Captain America lines that I'm hoping they can work into an old cap somehow. I bet they can get an old man now, physically. Mm-hmm. Is uh, <clears throat> the sinister six is trying to it's co- working with Spider-Man like trying to murder the president and a coercing Spider-Man. Let's just not yeah, the, like, coercing, like, but whatever. Guy. No, the whatever. The point though is that Captain America just punches. I think like Austin was like one shot him across, like in the face, and he'll like fall back. He's like, "What the hell?" And Captain America just holds up the shield and says, "Get off my lawn." And when it, it, when he got the when he did the right hand, standing in the white in a window now, of the Oval Office, and I'm like, yeah, that, that that's really cool. Now back to Zemo really quick. You don't really know much about the character, but like in this movie though, I'm wondering though what his 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 plan was. Because again, I'm not sure if he's going to be for the Five Smashers, but I don't know what his plan is because he kind of he both won and lost in, in the Civil War because the Avengers split up, but they're still and they're still kind of split up. Why is he still after them now? Well, the Avengers don't really exist. I don't think I might be. Paying, I don't think the Avengers really exist. In the I know because why would so why is Zemo still after them now? That's what's his new motivation. I, honestly, I'm wondering if it's some anti Captain America thing. Like he wants to stop Sam Wilson from becoming a Captain America. Well, 
that's my thing is why would he because even maybe Gino maybe himself, he, maybe, maybe, he wants to, maybe he's afraid that another captain america could rally the avengers to return that that's a good that's a good one. Actually. That's what I would think. They'd like they'd he'd like listen, uh, the Avengers will rally around the good man. I need to make sure the next Captain America is the big one. There probably will be, but if it's not a if it's a if it's not a good man, the other hero won't rally around him. Yeah, or may, maybe there, there's nobody else. No, it, there's no, no one else know. to rally but around you, anymore. You know what would be another good one is the probably not good do this but i'd like if they set up citizen v you know who citizen v is vaguely zemo it's a famous story in the 90s where zemo dawns an outfit called citizen becomes a hero called citizen v doesn't show his face and nobody knows who he is i don't think they're gonna i don't think they're gonna make zemo reoccur i think zemo will die in this to be honest i don't know because you know because i feel like is the reason they 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 they, they didn't kill him because i feel like if who knows? The reason they didn't kill him would be killed. No, 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 no. Without question, the reason they didn't kill him would be because somebody had that thing with T'Challa, and everybody agreed with that thing with that thing the movie. But the thing with the thing with T'Challa, forgiving and not killing Zemo, is the best thing in Civil War. No, no, that is me. That no, no, that is the best thing. But spoiler for Shield, they announced Abomination. Two of those, those two of the main members of the Masters of Evil. You could. Oh yeah, the Judea has any? Has, has there, are there any confirmed plans for Thunderbolt? We keep, no, we, no, but like, but they've yeah. already announced like Thunder. Yeah, they, people keep saying they're going to be a Thunderbolt movie. I'm like, no, nobody said, nobody said it. No, but no, the, people, but I, you keep hearing members, about the Thunderbolt. I'm like, there is no plan for this movie. Anybody yeah. watching? I know it's not yes, happening at the moment. They have, they have four the four the villains that that the four of the only survive villains that live at the end of their movies. Are members of the Masters of Evil and Thunderbolts, Dressing yeah. Hammer, Ghost, Abomination, you, and Zemo. You know, you know what I think. What? First of all, I don't think that. I think it, it's partly a couple of things, but I think the biggest thing is without hesitation in my mind, and I think it may be a coincidence. It's like what? It's like the just if you're Black Luthor. And Riddler don't die in, in Batman and Superman movies, and she doesn't die in a Wonder Woman movie. Doesn't mean. Oh, I wonder if they're making an, uh, an Injustice League. Well, they are. He no, said but, at the end of his freaking movie, he wants to make the Injustice League. No, but you know what I mean. Like, it's like the, um, uh, these are just high, first of all, Zemo obviously wasn't killed because it, it just didn't work in the script. I firmly believe the only reason Zemo didn't die in Civil War is there's no other reason for him not to die besides for having that great scene. Like I he, still think I still think they could do a lot more of this character than kill him. I think they could. I'm just thinking what they're more likely to do, and I think they may kill him. Yeah. I, mean, I, I can see them wanting I think it's see them wanting to move away from Civil War, like then the events of that movie and the characters a little bit. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm I can see them being like in the movies, we're moving away from Stark and, and uh Rogers. We're moving away. They're gone. They're dead. They're, they they died. And but there are they already got a miniseries based around the legacy of Cap and legacy of Tony. We are, we're just talking about the legacy of Cap. How about that next? We talk about this legacy of Tony. Well, I know. Let's go through the trailers first because we don't even have a we don't even have a trailer for Armor Wars yet. I want to talk about it so badly because I was right. Yeah. yeah so uh, Loki. Loki. Uh. I am, is, it, is it weird that I watch the trailer for Loki? I think it looks great. I don't care. God, yeah, right. And like, like I, I think it's because he's dead. And like I think it's because the Loki I grew to care about in the MCU yeah. was the one with all this character development. Like I'm not a big like I I didn't watch Avengers One and come away like Loki's a great character. That happened gradually over multiple movies. It's kind of, you know what it reminds me of? It's kind of like um, the scene in X-Men Apocalypse where they bring the Wolverine out. Like, that, you're not the Wolverine I spent 17 years knowing about. Why should I care about you? Well, yeah, but, it, was, it was Cool, I love this character, this actor, but it was, it's, it's not- It was Hugh Jackman, right? Yeah, they brought Hugh Jackman as back to Wolverine, but it's not the Wolverine. It's, it's not just the character, the, the different version yeah. of the character. I, mean, I think it just, I'm mean, think great, and I think it looks fun. I think it just that, like, 
I'm not the, I, I'm not I wasn't a person who was like, oh my god, Loki was the best character in Avengers. <clears throat> well, he kind of was, but <laughs> no, but I mean, you don't walk away from Avengers being like, you know, we need we need a mini series about Loki. We need like multiple TV shows about Loki. And like, I think Loki became so popular over time. Like, yeah. because he was so well developed, like the journey going from Avengers to, to him trying to kill Thanos and save the brother was so well done. I think I'm saying this 2012 Loki, and I'm just like, yeah, but this isn't, this isn't my Loki. This isn't the Loki. Like, the Loki I care about died. So here's the thing. So the, there are two things that I want to bring up in this. Uh, now, one is Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson was surely casted because of a joke. Uh, do you know the reason? I'm, I'm positive there's the reason they cast Owen Wilson. Why? Is because there's Tom Hiddleston, a famous thing he does is almost every, every con or interview he does, he always does an impression of Owen Wilson as Loki. And I'm pretty positive that's what they casted him as a, ref, as a meta, meta reference to that. Probably. And also, the opening, where it's constantly different letters, different versions of letters. What I think I think is going to happen is they haven't really said who they're fighting. I think it's Loki. Alternate timeline, because like, it's going to be alternate timelines. Like, it's a, cause, like, it's a TBN timeline. Uh, there, there was one timeline where he won the Battle of New York. Yeah, time time bureau something. Like, yeah, yeah. those guys. They, by the way, who, by the way, exist in the comment. I just know nothing about them. <laughs> yeah, like, no, 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 but yeah, I think it's going to be the Loki that survived, for, that Loki from Avengers is going to be fighting an, another Loki. Mm-hmm. Where, because, because, like, because again, I, they, they, it's almost too perfect not to fit to, to, to see Loki battle another dick. I'm wondering, dude. do you think they'll bring back present Loki? No, I think will they kill this Loki? Like, I don't even think the plan. Okay, no, present vote Loki is one of my favorite comp books of all time. No, no, I need to actually know, like, what is, what is the long term plan for the character with this show? Yeah, like, the time I, was, I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be. A DB Cooper, uh, James Bond type. Like, did you did you get the, get the, the DB Cooper reference? No. The scene where he jumps out of the plane. It's a reference no. to an actual man named DB Cooper, who sold a bag of money, who was a bankrupt, and then jumped out of a plane carrying a briefcase, and no. nobody knows what happened to him or how he got away. So that's a reference to. Look, no, can I can I ask a genuine question? You know, my yeah. question more so is, like, does Tom Hill thing want to keep playing Loki? Like, are they gonna bring him back? I think he does. He he enjoys. He no, I, I don't understand. Like, I don't understand. Like, you killed him, and now you're bringing back a character, just a different version of the character that had none of the development. Is that it? Is that the hopefully, goal? hopefully the show set proves prove us wrong. No, no, I just, I just like the show will be great. I just like what's the plan for after? Like, I feel like the only thing you can really do is retire the character because you you can't redo the character development again. You can't do that. No, but I. Nobody wants to see Loki learn the same lesson over the course of another eight movies again. Well, it looked like in the show they showed him his character development from his from art from his past from his other life. You see him looking at a hologram of Thor Ragnarok. So- yeah, I'm wondering if they'll like. I wonder if it will be a thing where he'll like see his old life and learn from it. Yeah. Or maybe it'll be some bullshit where they, they give him all the memories of that Loki, so he's now just back to being one. Yeah, so that way they that way they can just keep Loki around and bring him back. That that way it's like it, it may be one of those things where they're like, well, well, we didn't bring back Loki. This is a different Loki, but with the memories of our Loki, who be exact same person now. I'm really happy that they had the lo- the boat look. I squeed when they showed him. In yeah, the I'm just thinking. Like, will he be in Love and Thunder? Like, he's a big I doubt. Of them. <laughs> Here's what I want. Here's what I want with the show. I want him to be president. That's all I want. Or be, be a senator. Just Loki in, Loki in the government. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. So, Loki, do you have anything else to say on Loki? Uh, I'm surprised King the Conqueror is not a part of this. It's a time thing. Well, because he, he, he put on a Batman in the Boss. Yeah, but I feel like he'd be He's more the famous. villain of, by the way, this is my favorite name. Ant-Man of the Wasp, Quantum Mania. Great name. Yeah. Whoever named that, give that man a raise. I think, you know, uh, I think it's the guys who did Rick and Morty. 
are doing Ant-Man. Well, I know, I believe that's true. But uh, moving on from Loki, can we talk, okay, let's talk about the one that I think I'm the most, not excited for, we have Black Smith Marvel. Sure, I about, no, the one I'm the most interested in. What if it looks really interesting? Uh, would, I, it, I, would, I, would it be weird because I don't like a Marvel What If books? Yeah, neither do I. And I they're they I, all kind of suck. But I feel like I, here the two the, there's only two I'm interested in. One is Peggy Carter as Captain Britain. Who, I mean, by the way, the animation style she looks the best. Yeah, with Steve as Iron Man, it's kind of cool. It's not so cool. Like and Tony can be like the second Iron Man. That's such a great idea. Yeah. But like, I like that one. And I also like, and I feel like we're, people are going to get teary-eyed when this episode shows up, mm. is Patrick Bossman as Star-Lord. Yeah, I'll, pro- I'll probably cry when I watch that. Yeah, that's, it's, that's going to be, they're, gonna, they're definitely going to have a memory of Chadwick Bossman at the end of that episode. Oh no, and they're going to you the new intro. Yeah. And you think, have, I said, you, you've seen it, the new Black Panther. Yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw, I've known to show it to you. Yeah, the new Black Panther logo, they'll definitely do that. They'll probably have a special "What If" intro, like with the Waster talk. But they may even have the Waster talk, like talk, the Waster do it, like the Waster mentioned Chadwick or something. I don't know. Yeah. Do you? Uh, I kind of find it funny though that the Watcher is voiced by Commissioner Gordon. Like I like Commissioner Gordon. I just that's not funny. Who? Which is who? By the way, for people who don't know. Huh? Who? 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 Who is that? For people who don't know. Uh, Jeffrey. Uh, right, I think his name is Jeffrey Wright. Yeah, I think I believe it is. But no, uh, I do. I do think. Uh, I'm thinking about the, the thing I'm most curious about. They're doing Iron Man. Is Robert Downey Jr. going to be in this? Iron uh, Armor Wars. No, in uh, what? They're doing an Iron Man episode. I, mean, I think he is the only one that did not come back to a voice. So I think I, I heard he's the only actor that didn't come back to a voice. Oh, he refused like, to do it. Yeah, like another actor, an actor, or an impersonator. To, to I may not watch it then. I may skip that episode. Uh, I don't know if I want to see somebody else play MC, play straight MCU, do a do do like a very like different like interpretation of Iron Man in one of those movies. Yeah, I'm wondering. I, I think I already have my answer, but I doubt they're gonna do um, the Spider Man movies because of the Sony deal. I, I yeah, I don't think I don't think I don't think they're allowed. I don't think they're allowed to because Spider Man can't be on Disney Plus. I heard actually I heard that there there are in talks to put Homecoming on Disney Plus recently. I've heard that, but I don't know if they want to mess with it, like make an episode of another series. Yeah, is the series so that may muddy the water if they put like a Spider Man What If in there. Yes, like legally, I. I can see if they ever get back. I can see them making it and putting it away somewhere. And if the and when, when they inevitably one day do get the rights back, I, mean, I think I think Apple may end up buying Sony. There've been talks about that for years. Eventually, Sony will get bought out by another company one day, and they'll get the rights back. I think what will happen. I do know that this is actually kind of funny though. Originally, one of the one of the when they pitched what if. It was the two things they really, they really kind of like one of two things that kind of really like went for like in their in their original. Well, one of them was obviously zombie, Marvel zombie, yeah. No, that, okay, that no three things: Marvel zombies, Peggy is Cap, and you know what they also pitch, which what? they can't they can't do anymore. Jane is Thor. Yeah, that's part of the original pitch, and they can't do that anymore because now it's becoming canon. Uh, and then, yeah, no, I think I, I'm super excited. The show also looks really pretty. I think the uh, the anime is gonna have to grow on me. It looks okay, but it's not my type of animation. It isn't, but I think uh, I think it's really smart for what it is. Being able to work with various different uh, genres. Yeah, it's a but, very streamlined, simple form of animation that is really good for movement and action. I'm wondering when will zombies take place? Go because Steve is wearing his. Here, here's my question: What the hell is zombies gonna be a what if of? Yeah, but look, he's good. Now, that's what I'm wondering because it's going to be he's wearing his outfit from Civil War, but Bucky's wearing his outfit from Infinity War. And then, what is it even a what if of though? Uh, what strange, what strange, what Marvel strange. story leads to what what MCU movie leads to zombie apocalypse? Doctor Strange probably. 
I was, I was, I was, uh, I was almost wondering if it was a, like Endgame or. Something. Oh no! You know what would be a good, good one? That biological agent crossed thorns was stealing in Civil War. Oh, that that maybe it. Yeah. That Just, could even explain timeline life, but like yeah. it's like a two year jump, and then okay, <laughs> that could work. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's why, but yeah, what if so, so? What if Civil War is Captain America and Bucky fighting each other? That cool. <clears throat> My wonder, I'm wondering if the, if the shows at the end if they're going to be as dark as they probably like as zombies is in the book. Because I'm like, I don't think so. Do you Only, think, I'm like, I'm like, do you think the zombies will the one zombies will win at the end, or will like the heroes prevail? I think the zombies may win. I think they'll be more subtle about it than, than I, I don't think they'll have Spider Man <laughs> standing over Aunt May Corp as he cried, Oh no, I ate my ant. Looking, yeah. looked over at Mary Jane dead and like a zombie. He's like, Oh no, I ate my wife. <laughs> In the book, once they eat, they regain their consciousness. Yeah, I know there was. And then they of- realized that they ate, that they committed like, basically cannibalism. And then they <laughs> have like a mental breakdown, lose control, and do it. It's horrifying. And they obviously can't do that in a show that children will be watching. Yeah, I know that the, it wasn't like they first appeared in the Ultimate Book where like they said, if one, if one of them, if just one of them crosses over to our Earth, like it's kind of, they're, we're done for. No, I don't think that. I also don't believe that. I, don't, I think they could handle one zombie, depending on who it was. You know, because the, there, there was a, one of the first times I ever even heard of Marvel zombies. Like, I know I'm kind of going on a tangent here, but one of the first time I ever heard of that part of that story was when the Deadpool book would say one of the characters, Mar- Deadpool from Marvel zombies, shows up and like, this thing is dangerous. We got to get rid of this other other dimension as fast as we can because if it bites somebody, it's going to be bad. No, no, but no, so, uh, I'm excited. I'm interested in what some of the what ifs will be. Like, I'm interested in the Guardians of the Galaxy. What if? The whole of Thor hammers. You saw that with Sam Jackson. What was that about? Like, that was, I don't know what that was, but it looked really cool. Yeah. Maybe, 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 maybe it's something where Jackson and Gordy, that would be uh, Daniel Jackson being Thor. That would be so cool. <clears throat> you know what actually be kind of interesting is uh, Original Sin. No, no, <laughs> no. Every, dude, most and there's no sin. It's it's it really is it one of the worst Marvel events of all time. People hate original sin. It had one of the best. Uh, it had two of the best t- tie-in books to me. Dude, 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 I I also get mad that you that they're not going to adapt something everybody despises. I you know here's what I would that's, that's like that's like saying the next Spider-Man movie should adapt for one more day. Oh. We get one more day had a good tie-in. No, and people response to that idea, that concept, people did not like the concept. It was if the comic book community said this is bad and if it's too stupid, they're not gonna do it. They they, they barely want to do the comics that are out there in Atlantis that everybody loves. So here's my question for you. Is there a what if scenario you'd like to see in this show? I'm trying to think. I think you tied everything up so well. And then, of course, they're that, but they lost. But you can't, I don't know what you do, what if for Infinity War. No, what, I mean, what is the what if? What if they look? What, you what can't if the do? other half got snapped instead of, instead of the main half? Oh, but that sounds, that sounds like a two parter. Yeah, I agree. Like, no, no, what, I mean, what I guess the Infinity War, I guess Infinity War and Endgame may be like a two parter. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking that like you what you can't really do a what if in Infinity, like a what if full on for Infinity. Actually, no, you could do there was a scrapped concept for Infinity War. You know what it was? What? It was when I don't ever heard about it, but it was Iron Man gets the cloak and Doctor Strange gets the Iron Man suit. Hmm. <clears throat> the concept was that Iron Man would like to save Strain from getting blown out of the ship during the scene during me uh scene with Peter when they like save him. Yeah. He would shoot the armor on the strain and then the cloak would go around Tony and Tony would be in would be like using like guns with the cloak. Hmm. And Tony would have like the cloak, guns, and then like 
Doctor Trey could be blasting people with the Iron Man. Or I don't. Maybe you could do that. I don't know. I feel like the obvious, the, the end game. What if? Would be what if and at the end of Infinity? I mean, I feel like that would be the end game. What if? The, who gets snapped? It doesn't matter in the plot of Infinity War. That matters for the plot of Endgame. Yeah. Uh, what about? Here's one I actually am curious about because it's oh. it'll be a reference to the comic books. What if Black Widow picks up the hammer because she can in the comic books? And that they would allude be. To it, and they allude to it in in Age of Ultron where she. Yeah, where she because that you don't need to know the answer, yeah. Yeah. But, but I think in Age of Ultron, that's more so meant to be an allusion to her, to Jock Whedon's horrible handling of her character. Yeah, but in the book, she can pick it up. You so know I'm... about you know about how you know. And by the way, anybody in the comics yeah, Jock Whedon, what he did with Black Widow in Age of Ultron was horribly offensive. Just saying. I like Age of Ultron, but I can't. I can't like. I can't deny that was kind of. Scary. No, 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 no. The one, there's one line that ruins that makes that movie that almost ruins the movie. It's so hard. It's a horrible thing to say. Pregnancy thing. You know, it's the line when she refers to herself as a monster, or not being able to have children. That just is so sexist. I think that time. was more because like she murdered murdered innocent people. Oh, no, 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 you rewatch the scene. It's, she, she, she's talking about how she's feral. How she's basically she's feral. She can't yeah, have children. Yeah, so she can help her kill people. No, no, and no, she, she basically said, I, I'm feral, I'm a monster. And I'm like, ooh, this, this is not, no, and like, when you know, you know anything about Jack Whedon and that Wonder Woman script he wrote, yeah, I can see him writing something from that perspective. Hmm. So I think that would be actually be kind of cool if they took that in a what if and we're like, no, 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 Black Widow can lift the hammer. That's what we were talking about. We weren't talking about that creepy, weird, sexist, uh, Jack Weed and stuff. Hmm. But, uh, yes. yeah, what if looks great? I think that's the moral of this story. What if just looks like a lot of fun? Moral now, of the story. I you think it looks great. I think I'm I am I'll i I'll see I'll see when it comes back. I think it looks great, but I feel like uh, unlike the rest of these, I feel like this looks more possible. Like this, the rest of these are emptying you things all sit down. This is more of a this is more comp book come to life to me. Like well, no, this is this is more this the rest of these are like empty new stories all sit down and all theorize and I'll be like, when does this take place? Who is in it? How what if I'm just like here, I got my popcorn? Yeah, my drink. Don't worry about continuity. I'm not gonna be like, oh, oh, this is really cool. All good zombie. And if I don't like it, who cares? It's it's, it's, it's bullshit. It's, 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 it's stupid. It doesn't matter. Yeah. See, like, like to me, like who cares? Like, I don't like, dude. If you don't like Marvel zombie, that's like, a great thing. It doesn't matter if we don't like it. It doesn't affect anything. To me, I it's kind of, it's kind of like um. Uh, the show The Mandalorian, where it's like you don't have to know be know all this continuity to watch it. Well, it's kind of it just, depends. Like the Marvel comic version of what if you do? Yeah. I mean, the comics are like the comic will be like. Do you remember in Spider Man issue two seventy yeah. when Peter Parker uh, grew to Esther arms for two issues in like the in like nineteen seventy five? Well, what if? Those arms never went away, and we'll put this book out in the ninety. Or that <laughs> what if we're like we're after he murders Wolverine's girlfriend. Wolverine has hit, Wolverine and him become spies and assassins. Yeah, it's like what? <laughs> it's like that's so stupid. <laughs> oh, I like that story, but like you really shouldn't have done like a what if sequel to it because it's really just. Well, 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 one because like not many people know about it, so it's like it, it's not it, it, it's not like these days really good at being like with Elseworld being like basic. It's like what if Superman landed in Russia during the Cold War? Do you know Superman's origin? Oh, did you did you know real world history? Okay, you're good. What if super What if Superman was actually with with grades with grades under the name Bruce Wayne by Thomas and Martha? Okay. What if grew up in like the 1800s? Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like a lot of those are like, do you know the or it's a DC really good at being like, do you know the bare basics? Yes. Okay. Here's 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 a base here's a what if that is basic but really crazy and fun. 
Marvel, like, no, no, when we say what if, we mean like, what if one of our comic books in the middle of the story ended differently? How would that affect the rest of continuity? Mm-hmm. Which also I feel like limits the writer, but that Marvel bad decision making, <laughs> the bad decision making by Marvel editorial is not why we're making this video. That's a separate video. Now let's talk about Miss Marvel because Miss Marvel thought I'm most excited for. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna let you take the reins. No, first, I want to hear what you say because I just want to hear what you think with from the sizzle reel because you, why don't you kind of talk about what you think and I'll like provide information. Yeah, I'll, I'll, you t- I'll talk about it as a character who doesn't really know Miss Marvel. Really yeah, and I'll, and, and I'll pitch in about like somebody who read, base, who read uh, every issue yeah. she's had. I think it's, I think the actress looks good. Like, was, like I heard yeah. some problems behind the set, but I think. I think it's going to be good. I, I'm no doubt it's going to be a good show. The actress looks really good. I'm hoping she's good because there's, you know, there's a problem with child actors. But I, I, I don't know how they did it, but she looks, she's 18. She does not yeah, look 18. Very calm, huh? like, but yeah, I think she's good. I'm wondering like what the, the villain is, but I think, yeah, I think it's going to be good. Yeah. But my, my biggest question is I know who the villain is. How are they going to explain in humans? Will they have, will they have to tie it into Asian the Shield or the in humans? shitty tv show or will they, or they retcon those the way and make something else i don't know make her a mutant or something like that like what are they gonna do i don't know what i do know is i can tell you i think the it seems like they're it seems like they're adapting her for the first there, she does that like it, if quake from asian show shows up the inhuman i will be there i'll be the first person to watch that show well but i'm watching every one of these day one so yeah so am i but like I'll, I don't know Ms. Marvel enough to be get as excited. Yeah, no, no, to answer your question about the villain, I, it seems like they're just adapting the first volume, so I think it's going to be the inventor, who, the inventor is a great character, the he's the most comic book. He's so, he's, he, it's, it's like they were like, let's make like a 50 or 60 comic book villain. The inventor is like an animal, it's like an animal man. I think, I think what I recall, he's a rat man who believed he had the clone of Thomas Edison, whose brain was inserted into the body of a, of a large human-sized animal. <laughs> and his plan is he kidnaps <laughs> children, and he uses their bodies to power electronics to, to like, basically replace, uh, to be a new form. He uses, he stifles energy out of their bodies as a new form of, the, like, a power as opposed to electricity. So like the hand, it's like the thing in Harley Quinn where the Riddler has the guys and the guy in the hamster yeah. wheels. <laughs> they do the note with they killing them, and you want to know why he does it? Oh dear God, why? Because he thinks he thinks, he thinks the modern teenagers are worthless. He's like, he's like, what do you people do? You sit around on your phones all day. At least this way you can do some good for the world. <laughs> uh, and have one of my favorite jokes in comic where one of the kids. Uh, he, he says, uh, I mean, he's, he's asking all the children what they're good at and like telling them what they could do in life. And one of them to go, I'm good at doing the job nobody else wants to do and do it and doing badly. And he goes, awesome, future president. <laughs> you know, you're a future president, young man. <laughs> Which I thought was funny. But uh, no, I'm excited. I have two worries. One, her powers. It is, even with modern day CGI, incredibly difficult to do stretchy powers. And her powers are even more, I think, hard to do than Mr. Fantastic. Because she's giant, she can make her fist giant. She's she's not just stretching, she's almost like a combination of Mr. Fantastic and Ant-Man. Can't she also shapeshift? She does, but the, the, uh, it was, well, she turned to Carol Danvers, so like she had she originally had the power to chase it, but she basically lost that power as her power developed. Yeah, because I feel like that's like that doesn't really make much sense. No, no, the reason she could no the reason she lost the power was because it uh it was like weaken her when she did it. Like mm-hmm. she could chase Jeff, but then she couldn't like heal or use the rest of her powers while she was chase the thing. So she stopped doing it, and the power kind of just like magic just kind of faded away as they decided it wasn't a new. But it's really new as a plot device to have her turn into Carol. Mm-hmm. Because the whole thing when she turns into Carol is she's going through this thing, this learning experience where she wants to be normal and like all the other teenagers. 
So she says, when she given the option to transform, it's like, it's like, a, like she's going to like a mental experience. And she, she basically is acting herself. Like her, she's acting herself, but she's perceiving it as somebody else acting her. And you know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> yeah, because my so basically like, no, but this is a just man. She, somebody, she's like, oh, well, I want to be classic Miss Marvel with the with the with, with like the swimsuit and the wedges. And then she's like, oh wait, I'd never worn anything. Like, oh, I would never wear this. Oh, this is weird. This is not who I am. I don't need to be like other people. Basically, the learning experience is supposed to be. And she doesn't. Need, she doesn't need to be Carol Danvers to be Miss Marvel. She doesn't need to dress like Carol Danvers. Like she doesn't need to put on the Carol Danvers Miss Marvel outfit to, to be Miss Marvel. Mm-hmm. I know she's using the name, but she's her own person. And you don't want to be like, and you don't, and no, and you don't want to be like other people. So I mean, I don't know. So did you? I mean, my only other thing, and my only other fear, to be honest, is it seems like they're doing a straight adaptation of the book. With well, I love the book. I do wonder how it will work at the TV show. So, because I just don't really the book is very much it, it's a very personal story, so I'm just kind of interested, and I'm I'm hoping they can handle that in the same way in a show where they don't have internal dialogue. Now I heard you tell me this earlier before we, before we started, like uh, why would she be obsessed with Carol Dan versus MC? Carol? That's also another thing. It's like I'm like. Why is Carol, like, in the comic, Miss Marvel, is, like, it's implied and shown to us that she grew up with the Avengers. Yeah. But, like, when I say grew up, I mean, like, when, like, when she meets her, her best friend, her name is Bruno, when she meets him, she shows up at school, what is it, with, like, an Iron Man hoodie or something. Mm-hmm. And, she, and she meets him in kindergarten. Like, superheroes have been around for so long. In the, like, the traditional Avengers that we see in Age of Ultron had been around for like 15 years when she becomes Miss Marvel. So like she is like, no, she's like, I remember, cr- she's like, it's been, it's been, it's been, it's been mentioned that somewhere I think that she she was like, she, that she like stand in front of her TV crying during Civil War because she, she was so upset about seeing them fight. Like she's experienced all of that and she determined her favorite hero was Carol Danvers. To get up all the great things Carol Denver had done at Miss Marvel on Earth. Mm. I mean, and like, you're best me to believe, like, first of all, I do know that they almost basically confirmed that she is going to ship here superheroes, though, which is amazing. <laughs> but I do worry. Was it baby Sloth, something like that? Was it? Yeah, yeah. Her, her, her online nickname is like Sloth Baby. Which is, which is, you know, so, I mean, I, I am also happy, but I think because Disney's making it, they can probably use more real video games. Like, I'm wondering, are they actually going to have, to, like, I wonder if Disney, if it's a show, can just pay the residuals to the company so they can stay World of Warcraft instead of making or stay World of Battlecraft. I can only imagine how angry Henry Cavill would be, though. He's like, oh, you, oh, Marvel can get to World of Warcraft, but I can't have Superman do it. Yeah, like, like, like Marvel can make a show about a girl playing World of Warcraft, but I can't make Superman be a player. <laughs> Superman had to play World of Warcraft. That's it. I'm getting my white wig. Screw you guys. Go play The Witcher. You guys are all jokes. No, but I do think... Um, I do think, I'm wondering, I'm thinking my thought process really is maybe Carol Danbrook was active on Earth for those five years. I don't think they implied not much. Well, 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 well there has to be a read. If you look in the trailer, it will, not trailer, but still real. Yeah, there's a captain. Wearing- no, there's a captain from a poster <laughs> in her bedroom, for God's sake. You're also like, wearing a very accurate costume. Yeah, it's like people know who Captain Marvel is. Also, I say the same thing in the comment. Who the hell is selling this merchandise to Captain Marvel doesn't live here? <laughs> like, I mean, no, Peter even knew she was, and she never told her told him. She only told, said her name was yeah, Carol. Uh, uh, I never understood where the superhero names come from in the MCU. 
those are like, well, they, they're, it's mostly, like, I think they say it's the news that calls them that. Like, um, like, I, like, like, they have, they have, like, they have, like um, Peter knows her at Carol Danvers. He goes, Captain Marvel. Like, why are you calling her that? It's not like she called herself like, that. No, it kind of is. Like, I know it's a different universe for now, but in the Sam Raimi Spider movies, like, they actually, like, it's J. J., 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 the new newspaper who comes up with the names of the super villains because like everybody's got to have a name now. Oh, no no i don't i love, I love how that. you say for now but no i get i get that i'm just like uh, so i guess she must know about her somehow i'm wondering if battle from the if the, if there will be leaked footage from a battle yeah. for her like if she see carol danver they they could change it so she was an Avengers fan first, because that, that, that is, that's also the comic, kind of. Like, she was just a superhero fan, and then she discovered her. She was almost like a comic book fan. Like, she was a, she really liked superheroes, and then she discovered Carol. So what are your ones, main, main ones with this show? Honestly, I just want them to get the character right. I want them to get the character right. I don't want them to turn it into like I I want it to be super low stakes. I mean, I feel like the thing that makes Marvel so good is that up in the first like 30, 40 issues of that run, there's there's like no other superhero there. It's very like Ultimate Spider Man where it's kind Yeah, no, it's like Myth Marvel operates in a small town in Jersey. Who No, it's like she operates in Jersey and Boo. it's very Miles Morales meets a very Miles Morales video game meets Ultimate Spider-Man in that like she's a part of the community you know, but it's just really sweet it's, it's a very traditional superhero it's like she's friends with everybody in town loves her one of the things I always adore is her grabbing onto the side of the bus and get and, and the bus driver give her free rides around the city <laughs> when she's in between superhero it's like something like that it's like like I like that like the plot of the first season is a crazy, uh, the first like arc in the book is an, it's a crazy adventure kidnapped some children. Hmm. Do you think the adventure will be a giant mouse or will it be just a guy? I'm hoping he's a giant mouse because that's the, the whole point. The, the, whole, the whole point of him being a giant mouse is probably like, oh, is this what this is? This, this, this my life now? Mm. Like, I've heard being like, is this what being a superhero is like? A lot of it is Miss Marvel. A lot of it is the thing with Miss Marvel that you're there's never a question for her. Like it's not like one of those things where she's like, "Should I be a superhero?" It's learning to do it. Which is what I like. Like it's, there's no angst. There's not a ton of angst or drama, where it's like there is, but it's, 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 there's not like angst. Like oh, I'm in so much danger. Like you know what I mean. Mm. I, I'll, I'll, my, and also, I want them to get her costume right. I, I adore her costume. No. I well, also, I there is one scene from the comics I want adapted, which is okay. it's, she runs out, she's at the she's at a mosque, and she, 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 she gets like notified something going on, and she like gets away, she runs out, and she does the Superman thing. Where she like, you know, oh, yeah, like, there's like that yeah, cover. Like, no, she, the hatchet with the glasses rips it off, rips her shirt open, and then this Marvel outfit is underneath. And I'm like, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's, it's really well done in the comic. It's like, it's full blown the Superman, like running in an alleyway, <clears throat> ripping your shirt open. It's the full scene. Now, what, here, what I want with this show is, again, because it is I. Me and a bunch of a bunch of the Asian. I wanted to bring Asian Shield back into canon, yeah. and if this if, if, out of any any of these shows, I hope to God they don't do that. I don't want least, any other Marvel character. At least they have one character, because like, like I know uh, you know that that recent Disney credit, not so so. It's not, not bad, but it's only so so. That Disney Channel anime series was like all the uh, Mar- Marvel Rising, all the female Marvel uh, characters. It, it isn't very good. <laughs> it's 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 actually it's. Way better than I thought it would be. No, it's, it, it, it's way better than I thought. It, it's better than Marvel Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, Which is but awful. in that show, yeah, the new Spider Man cartoon. Have you seen it? By yeah. the way, it's so bad. I, 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 I was like shocked how bad. It was. I cried for like the first season. I was like, oh, this isn't too bad. I guess you actually fun. watched it. Like, the whole I, I cried. I watched the first season. I was like. I forced my like I, I kind of deluded myself. I'm like, this isn't too bad. And by the end of it, I was like, nah, this sucks. 
<clears throat> now, what the that, hell it made it terrible in that Marvel Rising thing, though. Uh, um, uh, Mar- Miss uh, Kamala's superhero mentor is Quake. Because, yeah, yeah, I don't like that at because all because Ka- Carol Danvers is off world, yeah, like yeah, in yeah. the freaking MCU. She shows up at later on, Carol shows up, and she's like. Oh, you! Uh, oh, you're dressed like me. That's actually so cute. Oh, wow! And no, no, I, I, I like. Quake, no, Quake is like, oh, oh shit, Carol Danvers. I am so sorry. Uh, this is girl. Does she likes you? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, you, you do with mentoring. Bye. Yeah, no, she gets because she's like she's she, even because it's real that Quake, this basket was also kind of really starstruck by Carol Danvers. She's like, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna leave you guys. And you're the Avenger. <laughs> yeah. No, this is, this is my thing. There are two problems I have with that. At the moment, the character. What? One, Miss Marvel, I'm not Miss Marvel, Carol's supposed, Miss Marvel's not really supposed to have an active mentor. That's kind of the point. Like, Carol shows up, but Carol, Miss Marvel doesn't really have a mentor. Carol kind of bails on her. During, Carol shows up, meets her she once. She gives her her blessing to, to take her name. No, Carol, Carol meets her, and Carol, like, gives her advice occasionally. First, she comes by and meets her during Secret Wars, before Secret Wars, during the end of the world. Mm. And she spent she spent the night day helping her save people, and it's it's like really. Did you tell me there was like a, there was a scene though where like they want to play poker but she can't or something like that? You know, you know, no, no. They become friends, but it's more that they're friends. It's more so that they're like the, the Carol mentors her a handful of times. That Civil War Two happens, and Carol and Kamal like, yeah, this isn't working out. Like we just have very different values. This isn't gonna work. But like. Carol still feels responsible, so she becomes like a very hands-off mentor who be more of like a protective figure who's like and you know, with things, who you know, who will show up occasionally and like be a powerhouse. Mm-hmm. Like when the the champions are in trouble sometimes, like you know, occasionally. Like you know, sometimes they'll fly in during an event and like save her butt. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Very Superman. But yeah. you know, there there is there is a book where Carol invites a ton of like her girlfriends. One of which, <laughs> first of all, like really, it's not it, it is in hindsight kind of weird that this grown woman is inviting like all her girlfriends over to her house, and then she invites this like teenage girl. <laughs> She's like, I know you they know, announced um for the show. Here, here are all these adult women, and here's a fifteen year old. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I know they recently. No, and, the there is a thing though where, where it's actually really funny. Carol invites Who's her to Cameron. Cameron. Uh, Wait, how does it spell? I, I, this is, I know, I can't really, it's like he's a, look, it looks like he's got a made of water. And Miss, for Miss Marvel. Okay, so Cameron is, is a psychopath. They just casted him for the Miss Marvel series. Yeah, he's crazy. So Cameron is this guy, basically, there's this thing when her parents are having, and you know anything about like, her, her culture? It's mm-hmm. uh, very conservative very uh old fashioned in some way. There are you know women should get married at a certain age. Make mm-hmm. the family look good status all that crap. Does not agree with any you know, American child thinks that, grew up in America. Think that's weird. So, you know what I mean? She okay. does. Like she's not for that. She's like she's like, ew, no. But he's the guy who showed up and they're very like behave and she she's like, oh you know what you want but that's not going to oh it turned out he's really attracted. She's like, oh, I'm Wait, in. Psychopath? No, it turned out he revealed, he's like, come on, I am also, I know you're Miss Marvel. Come and without the kiss, he pushes her away. He's like, come on, let's turn. He's a kiss. And then she's her first kiss. And then he's like, no, come on, let's now we kiss. You must listen. I am also an inhuman. And we could kill all the humans. <laughs> and, and we had, and like, I'm like, here's my evil plan. And she's like, no. <laughs> and so she's, just, she's like, absolutely not, you crazy person. And they, the fight. actor, the actor, and then they fight. Him. The actor is who's gonna play him. He has that like perfect, like bad boy, evil smolder. In his, in his no, 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 he really <laughs> he plays her like a fiddle, and then at the end, he's like, oh no, this is the thing. I think the thing that makes it really, this is the thing I love. Bro, I love. He's not acting. He's not like. It's not like an abusive thing. He's like, no, I generally like you, Kamala. I, I I just also I just also want to kill people. <laughs> I, well, it, I guess he'll be the main villain of the series. No, he he he's like a, he's a one-off villain in the comic. Well, 
they're they're he's probably uh, they, uh, they haven't announced the inventor, so he's probably going to be the main villain. Because he's not really a villain. He keeps more so the the, the less he keeps more a stepping stone for a stupid lesson about like you know trusting people you just meet. You know what I mean? You know, don't trust people. Don't kill you know killing you all that stereotypical crap like killing a grog. But you know, whatever. So yeah, I'm super excited. Did you have anything else you want to talk about with that that you were wondering about from seeing the trailer? Not really, no. Uh, yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it. Um, oh, no, but, but I went to what I said about before, before you uh, talked about camera. I went to say what I think about Carol. That Carol is supposed to be an on and, on and, get, on, on and off again mentor. Kamala is supposed to operate mostly independently of like other superheroes. Okay. Like, that, that's why she's not in New York. The people have said that. The reason she doesn't live in New York is because they want her to be on her own. Mm. They want it to be very isolated. They want it to be, you know, small scale. Because they want it to be small scale. Like problem. Jersey. Like, it, 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 it needs to be small scale enough of a problem that they can, they want her problems to be, her problems are small scale enough that you couldn't just that they're also high scale enough that you couldn't justify like Spider-Man or Daredevil not showing up to help this child who has no idea what they're doing. Yeah, I guess. So. And and then the, and then the reason she's in Jersey is because they wanted to have her not out of New York City, but able to a train right away. But why Jersey be, though? Be, because be, 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 Jersey because, sucks. First of all, I live. First of all, I live. First of all, I live. First of all, screw you. I, and I you live suck. in New Jersey. I'm in New York. I'm, I, I live in Manhattan. I live in New Jersey. Jersey. I find that offensive. Well, I'm a homo kid. I find that Yankees, offensive. Man, like, come on. No, like, but basically, it's because they wanted her to be a train right away. So they can basically make sense of. Well, so how does Kamala convince her parents that. What does Kamala tell her parents when she goes to like, go, 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 go meet up with the Avengers? Like, what does she tell her parents? Like, well, she tells her parents she's going into New York City with her friends. Her friends, her one of her friends go with. She has a couple of friends who know who she is. So one of her That's friends go. Uh, like a, no, no, real like friend from school. Like Bruno knows who he is. Her friend Nakia knows. Her friend Lo knows who she is. Most honestly, she's really bad at it. She's kind of like Clark, Clarkette. Most of her friends know who she is. So she, what she, what she could do, what, what she typically does, is so like, yeah, me, Bruno, and Nakia are going into the city for the day. We'll take the path, but the path train. Bye. Okay, Nakia, Bruno, have fun. Go to Avenger Mansion. They even need to go with her. They'll have cover for her. Like, my parents can call and be like, Bruno, where'd you guys at? We're in Times Square. <laughs> okay, hang up phone. And it turned out to be like Avenger Mansion. But by the way, the one thing I'm sad about with Mifro, I want to move on after this, is that Tony's dead. So we won't get to see Tony helping her in her own work. We won't get to see that relationship. Her and Tony are really close in the comic. I mean, Tony helped her with study for tech. Tony has helped her with her. Tony has like invited her over to Avenger Mansion to help with her homework before. Like her and Tony are super close. So that's not. But why don't we move on to talking about something else? Okay. Let's look here. What do you want to talk about first? Now we can kind of Let's start. Let's do jumping. the one I, I I'm least interested in. Ironheart. Let's get that one out of the way. Yeah. So Ironheart. But who gives a shit about Ray Williams? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And by the way, it's a preference. It's a preference. It's just bad enough here. My favorite Marvel character in the comics is, is Kamala Khan. I like. I also like Miles. That's a prep for any of the people that are going to scream at us for being like, did you don't like her because she's black? Screw you. Yeah. Like, my it, favorite comic book character. No personality. In, no, and no my, no, I want to clarify it. My favorite character. I, we just spent the most amount of time talking about Miss Marvel because I adore that character. We, and she is not white. We are not racist, you horrible. Who, anyone who wants to complain yeah. about it in the comments. Don't. We're not racist. We just don't. We specifically don't like Riri Williams. And I don't even not like Riri Williams, by the way. I don't even not like her. I mean, I like her in Champion. I, had you ever read Champion? No. 
Uh, hello? You don't okay leave until you finish off my race. So I'm, I don't want to get dragged down with you. All right, I'm back. Uh, yeah, I'm the Red Champions, but like, I, I, like, I, she just has no character personality to me. Like, I, you know, because like, she, she, you know, she is, she reminds me of, she reminds me of the kid from Iron Man 3, like Haley or Harley. No, I mean, she, but like, she, she, it, uh, no, I was wanted to say, and she, before you continue, in Champions, like, she's fun and she, she, she's cool. See, I like her costume. I mean, like, I don't hate, in all honesty, I don't hate her. I think she's a fine character to exist. Yeah, I, mean, I just don't, I, I mean, don't really want to watch it. There's, if there's any character I would like to see get the MCU treatment, like, agree, agree, will you? Because, like, by which MCU treatment, I mean, by which I mean, give them a better character than, uh, than a two dimensional thing from the comic books. It's Ray Williams, because, like, just give her something. There's that, an idea, no, there's an idea there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, because again, they toyed with it with Harley in Iron Man 3, and I like that character. So I'd yeah. like to see Will Williams like in a similar role, but Tony's freaking dead, though. That's the thing. And I also think it's a little too soon. Yeah. Like, I would, uh, I would, my I thought, any, I it also like, throws up, throws up my thought. I thought they were going to do Iron Heart in like 10 years with Morgan. Yeah. I thought Harley, that was obvious. Harley, Make Morgan Harley. Iron Heart in like 10 years. Yeah, we are there any Ironheart villains? Like, do we know Manifesto's character? No! Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah, it's probably a couple from, like, her. they're probably, like, the, okay, of course there's an Ironheart villain. She had the book. She's had books <laughs> before. But, like, well, do I think... Are, 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 they, are they Ironheart villains, or are they Tony's villains from the comic? I don't know. I never read an Ironheart book in my life. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's look at, let's do... Let's do the one I've been, I've all been waiting for. No, 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 no. Seriously, no, honest, I, I do. Snap. No, I do want to ask you that. What? What did you think led to the decision to do an iron heart? Like, what I did, don't know. Like, do you think they were sitting around in a meeting room? I have like, so many questions. <laughs> like, an iron heart doesn't even have books to sell. Wow. I know. I know they want to make the MCU more diverse. I don't understand where I. I mean. They're already really doing straight, that. They're really straight from the bottom of the barrel here, though, guys. <laughs> like, and I like, and I don't even mind Ironheart. I don't know if I want a TV show about her. Also, we're on wars. Also, you just killed Iron Man. You're making a new, and you're now you're making a teenage girl version of him. He hasn't even been been dead for five years, and now you're not going. Can we move on now? Sure, we can talk about your stupid artwork. You were right. We're back. Sorry about that. This will all, that will all be edited out in the light in the version that you'll be seeing on YouTube. I have a server we, now. Yeah, we had the technical difficulty. We had Nick here had to step away for a, for a minute. Blank calls. So yeah, let's go on to talking about. Say it with me. Armor, Armor Wars. Wars. I was goddamn right. Yes, you were right. I messed up. I apologize. They called me mad. Crazy. <laughs> I did. I did. Okay. So apparently I did say all those things. So apparently I'm the asshole. Well, not Wendell. You didn't call me Wendell. Yeah, who, who did call you that? That's it. You don't know Freakazoid? You ever see Freakazoid? It was a mad yeah. scientist. He said, they called me mad. Insane. Wendell. Who <laughs> was laughing now? No. Okay, so, really, uh, about a week ago, when they announced, like, about a week ago, about, you know, two days before they announced this show, I were talking about like what to do next for like certain characters, and I said you could do. There's actually no comic pop recently. The comic pop recently released like, uh, Armor Wars. Yeah, comic, yeah, comic pop. The YouTube channel under show back is due with. I guess I will now link in the description box down below. Yeah, I'm so, sorry, friends. I can't link that. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, 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 yeah, you, you're not plugging stuff. If you have his name back is due, it's fantastic. So please go check it out. Yeah, they talked in Armor Wars and. I was saying you could do a really good War Machine story, like an armor, adaptation armor wars with James Rhodes' War Machine. And well, you okay. said I, I, I was thought, crazy. No, I was going to say I was of the opinion, and I'm clearly wrong, that they wanted to retire, that they were going to do the smart creative thing and retire the Tony Stark character entirely and put it behind them. Not only are they doing Armor Wars, they're also doing an Ironheart show. So apparently that's all out the window, and they would have mentioned Tony in as many things as possible. Yes, because, because let's be honest, 
For every two good things Tony did, there would be one bad thing. No, but uh, I, 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 apparently, apparently you they... save trillions of people. How many bad shit things are going to come with it? And uh, when you're Tony Stark, probably a lot of them. Yeah. So, so I Armor, mean... Wars, Armor Wars. The classic uh, Iron Man. Can I get King of the Four before you go in? Can I say uh, congratulations to John to to, to Don Cheadle? Yes, he's got his own got his own own, own movie. Like, own yeah, movie. Yeah, after all these years of basically being sidekick to, to Robert Downey Jr. in in Iron Man stuff, and by the way, barely until the end, like until uh, what? Until what? Civil uh, War, barely having any significant role in the MCU, really. Like he was here too. Didn't he? He was in Iron Man two, Iron Man three, and he made a cameo. No armor scene. No no fight scene in Age of Ultron. No, he was in the War Machine of the final scene, final act. Yeah, but he wasn't really, you know. Like he wasn't with the Avengers fighting at the end. Yeah, he was. He was. You know, he was shooting. He was helping the helicopter, shooting down the other end, making sure. No, and like the, the, he wasn't. He didn't get to be in well, the he, final he was, shot. He was, in the, he was in the pose. Yeah, but. No, okay, and, and, you, and he didn't get that much focus. Like he wasn't, he wasn't a main character. That's true. Okay, so I just think congratulations to Cheadle for finally getting. He, he's so good at War Machine. So yeah, congratulations, he's, he's, congratulations he's to him for getting what he deserved. I also think it's cool we're getting a movie that, about a guy who, who was technically paralyzed. Yes, because like I think it's a reference to in the comic books, War Machine became a cyborg after losing his legs. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what that's what that's what it's a reference to. His the kids like his is like like yeah. race. No, but okay, but you know the, that that was awesome. Don't get okay, me. so Armor Wars is a classic Iron Man story where Tony Stark finds out that you know it's the reason to, the reason Tony became a hero is because a bunch of people were using weapons that he he made. Kill like, other people, yeah. So Armor Wars, what happens when what if his ultimate weapon is using the wrong hands? Where he finds that a bunch of Stark tech has been used by a bunch of different villains. Across the world, he goes on a, on a quest to like around the world to go find, like, take out the t- Stark tech. And here's I said, my question: In the you know, is it gonna be the armor? I I I don't think it'll be the armor. No, not armor. No, it's Stark tech weapon. It's like P armor. But like, what they say in the, in the original book, it was it was Stark tech. Like Prince is like they're that you know, the original book doesn't make any god any any damn sense anymore. No, it it was they're already existing villains, but they got their tech upgraded, like boosted by arc reactors or yeah I, i'm thinking it'll be the arc reactor yeah the arc so, reactor tech will be released so, to the world here's here here's the here's what this mean there's a lot of possibilities this, this this can mean for instance we can introduce some new villains crimson dynamo or one of my one of my all-time favorite marvel villains the beetle i'm not, not, not they're not introducing the beetle dude yes no they're do- i was so angry when they when Janice Lincoln, the current Beatle, was in I found out she was in Far From Home and it was an old white lady and not a young Dominican woman. So I was so pissed off. Well, they, they, Janice they, they, Lincoln they, is one of the best Marvel villains they've done, like a new Marvel in the past 20 years. Cool, good for you, buddy. Screw you. I want either Abner Jenkins or Janice Lincoln to show up in Armor Wars so badly. I'm wondering, I, I, I'm thinking, you know what I'm thinking it will be? What? I think what I would do if I wanted to go full crazy. The surviving terrorists from the group in Iron Man 1 get their hand on the uh, No, those are the 10 ranks. That's going to be the, the Chan-Chi. And the, uh, no, no, the, no, the, no, the people from the camp that got away. <clears throat> mm-hmm. The people that survived are taking revenge on the dead Tony Stark. <laughs> By using his weapon, or they're like they leave the ten rings and form like an SU Tony Stark group, and their goal is to kill as many people as possible with his tech. That's what I would do. If you you want to make it a middle finger to Tony, make it be the first people. The one. Uh, no, I I I can I think this is going to be they're going to introduce a bunch of new villains. Like this is how they introduce this is how they introduce new villains to the MCU. Is I'm new, hoping they don't. I think even Crimson Dynamo, the Gremlin. I'm Silk hoping. No, I'm, I'm hoping. Silk Man. Damn, no, we're not introducing Silk Man. 
Netflix shows. They could just give Stiltman the art, the, because the comp keeps in the Netflix show, Stiltman, but he doesn't have his stilts. Take him, that actor who he's a fan favorite in those shows. He's a fan favorite get, character. Give him, give it. Drop him in Armor Wars and give him stilts. No. Turk Barrett, baby. Give Turk no, Barrett stilts. No, this is the thing. Uh, and it's in my opinion, I, I really hope they're not going to keep bringing back. The, I hope after this, I'm hoping it ends with all, with all the Stark armor tap being completely annihilated. And it ends. Except and, for. And the, no, but, she- uh, no, but that, no, I, and the Messiah for War there's no villain, there's no anything, and War Machine like I have to <clears throat> occasionally. I don't want them to be like, here are all the villains Tony made. Look at Tony, look at Tony. He's dead. <clears throat> Move on. Now, my forget, question is, do you forget think... Forget Iron Man, forget the Statue of Mandarin, forget his Rose Gallery, forget Iron Man, forget River, forget them all. He's gone. We're moving on to bed. Like, I, I want them to let... I think they did such a good job with Tony. Let that character and his legacy rest in peace. Now, my question is, what characters are I think are they gonna bring back? Like, like Mor- Morgan Stark, Pepper. I, there is there is no way what else will be in this. Show. What about Morgan? I, I, I for all that girl would do it. That girl is like so into the fact that she played Morgan Stark. Yeah. You know, well, I found it funny. You know, it's actually kind of fun. I found out about she, that actress. She took the Castile sledding. Yeah. No, you know the the cabin where where like where yeah. Tony was in. That actress, uh, the the same year uh, that came out, the actress Morgan played the daughter of a scientist in Godzilla, and that scientist lives in the same actual cabin, the same set cabin. No, so yeah, she, yeah, that, that, he lived in that cabin twice in the same same year, two different no, movies. In the same no, year. Uh, no. Uh, I Wait, what are, could they bring in Really Williams or Peter? Since Peter's wearing Stark tech. They could no. One of one of would be really well, no no. It's not Stark Tech if he built it. Don't don't. Iron clap. Spider. Do, uh, I guess I guess you could. It would be like Iron Spider too. Is that just have just have a king or or, or no uh, no? That's how it gets destroyed. Like, Don destroyed. Don Cheadle, Rhodey destroyed the Iron Spider too. Yeah, no, have great. him show up and say, just have him show up and say, I want that armor. And Peter's like, here, take it. All right. I don't care. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bye. No, no. You know, here's how. Have, here's how you actually can do stilt man. Like, in, I mean, like, or at least why you're so fixated on doing stilt man? Like, like, because he's a fake. Because he's the best part of those. One of the best parts in those Netflix shows. The stilt man, the character stilt man. Okay, okay, here, dude. No, 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 hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Tur- the, the Netflix shows Turk Barry. Can we focus it, on the show though? Instead no, of here, 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 they could do. We could recreate a, one of my favorite scenes from the book with with like but on a chance, instead of instead of it being with Mahler, do with stilt man. Basically, in the in the book, um, basically there's like a character called Mahler who has like tar- starts and he's at goes into a hotel and Iron Man's outside his door saying, "I want my armor." And he's like, "Take it, go." Ah, my. <laughs> Perhaps because Turk Turk Barrett's a loser. Just having me. And he's like, "I don't want to fight you. I'll die." And he's like, "Go, man, drop it. I'm just gonna go." Okay, See you know, here here's what I think, and I'm gonna say this. Um, more for for Morgan, you know what you do? <laughs> what? Gwen Pastor will never do it. And you we we we, we both if we're being honest ourselves no she by the end of that she was doing that for Robert Downey Jr. Mm. Because they were friends. And because they offered her a ton of money. They're not they're not gonna pay Gwen Pastor hundreds of thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars to make a cameo at the at the mom. So you know what I think they may do though? They wow. may skip over the scene and do phone call and have her and have her at and just pay her to call in on a cell phone. Mm. You know, you have a thing when like I can talk, I can definitely see road something like Rody is <clears throat> maybe the maybe the plot maybe Morgan did it and maybe Rody watching her for like a weekend. Hmm. And maybe going to Paso make one thing where she calls on like a phone so you don't even have to see her face. Like you see war machines flying around in the armor. Mm. And he gets the call. He's like, and it's just like, had you fed her dinner yet? Yes. <laughs> I can see that. Like I can see her I can see Pepper being used off screen with her voice. Like I could see Pepper. I could see Morgan being a recurring character and Pepper calling the character that she with. Like, you know, Peter, speak with Peter and like maybe in like Meth Fire, maybe we heard Peter hanging out and 
And I'm figuring to take that flip phone. It's like, hello, Miss Stark. You and I need any talk yeah. to Pepper for like two minutes. Hang the phone. Done. With Gwyneth Paltrow, you could probably get Gwyneth Paltrow to call on a cell phone and read like a basic script of like, did you feed the kid? Okay, bye. For like a 15 second thing. You could probably get her to do that if she doesn't need to even, if she doesn't need to come into the office. <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, like, if she, could, if she could just literally record that dialogue on her computer. I mean, wh- why wouldn't she record dialogue on her computer using, like, her... Use, she could record it on her phone, send it in, and get paid, like, a couple thousand dollars. Like, why wouldn't you? Yeah. And probably take her 15 minutes to do. So that's what I would do. But yeah, so, I actually don't know what they're going to do. I feel like... You know what I think? What? <clears throat> I, assuming Ironheart... I feel like the Ironheart... I will lead into the other one. That's right. Yeah, think yeah, they- yeah. I, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, Armor War will lead into uh, Ironheart. I'm thinking. Yeah. Because okay, I, so I, I what, like the last one, like the Armor War, or or maybe Riri Williams like creating the tech will in spot will like maybe make Rhodes aware like oh people can easily or, or maybe it. like she'll and she'll make the tech in response to like the first appearance of a new Iron Man villain with Iron Man death to beat them <laughs> and then Rhodey will show up at the end and be like maybe it'll end up being a buddy cop with, <laughs> with Rhodey and Riri that could actually be kind of cool like a buddy right. cop so so what like hang on so like the last two ones what do you what are the what what do you want from the show what are your main ones honestly I have nothing I I I this is, this is the one that caught me the most off guard I was like oh okay <laughs> I was like uh, I was this, like this yeah, I, 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 an Iron Man was my favorite character in the MCU second second favorite who for, first well we'll get to, we'll get to them later. Uh, yeah, 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 but uh, I mean, I, I, I mean, you know, I think it's the first superhero movie I ever, I ever like really watched in theaters. It was, it meant so much to me, and I kind of just, I kind of, I'm said that I really just want them to leave him alone. Like, I, I kind of want to move on. Like, I get sad when I think that Robert and you are coming back. Mm. So, in my perfect world, they stop. Like it, <laughs> it ends. I have to, I hate saying this guy love Jane. I love Brody. In my perfect world, he reti- He destroys his armor at the end. So here's what I want. In my perfect world, all there's no new villains. They're all killed. All the new villains are killed, but our war machine armor is destroyed. Well, and that's the end of it until Morgan takes over in like 10 years when they make <clears throat> Morgan Iron Man. Here's what I want. Uh, two things. One is have some of the villains can like can can branch off because a lot of the villains in Armor Wars are not Iron Man villains. They are Spider Man villains. They are Hulk villains. They are can these villains survive, but without Star Tech, so they kind of have different yeah. tech and have them branch off into like throat. that. I'd be okay with, but like no 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 armor villains like Crimson Dynamo, the Crimson Dynamo armor, none of that crap. Well, Crimson Dynamo is dead. He, he was in Peggy Carter and his son was Whiplash. Oh, right. Damn. Never, never mind then. Uh, thank so you, Titan, man. But anyway, here's, here's the yeah. main thing. I, here's the, what, I, what else I want. I want them to bring back Turk Barrett and Justin Hammer since he's a big player in the Armor Wars book. Okay, that's there. And plus Sam Rockwell was, was one of the best MCU villains for a while. I want them to bring back the bird. Bring back, bring back Whiplash and Bird. I want the screw rip plot. I want the bird to come back. Armor <laughs> bird, yeah. And yeah. also, oh and my I, god, no, no, oh my god, armor bird. No, have Falcon show up at one point as like a cameo, and you know what happens? Red wing eats it. You know, red wing and, and, and the bird fight. That's awesome. And, you know, and, and the, the Falcon cameo is literally just Falcon like this, arm crossed, <laughs> with, with, with the shield on his side. He captured it. He did a Captain America costume just. Shield on the shield on the ground that sort of arm cross the staring at, at <laughs> CGI bird trying to like at CGI bird fight in the sky. <laughs> and, 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 and then the armor and then you wanna know what happened? What? Red Wing dies and, and Falcon is so sad that he goes home. <laughs> And yes. that's why he's not in it. He needs well, to go, he needs to go more than Isn't Captain America a part of Armor Wars in the book? No, Agent. Part of our war. Steve Rogers 
disappointing. Steve Rogers, yeah. Asia. Just change it for being Steve Rogers. No, says. because we you have to remember that he's not Captain America, so that wouldn't, it wouldn't work. Bucky Barnes, then? Honestly, I think just remove him. It's not necessary. All right, then. So here, well, they, they, they need to have another hero to like push in for him to bounce off with, like for that scene. But okay, anyway. So anyway, uh, here's, here's what I, the main thing I want. It's like, yeah, those branch up. Did you write, did you have like a piece of paper in front of you where you wrote this down? No, I'm just holding a pen. <laughs> to Turk. Not trying to make yourself Turk. look smarter. You're not, you're not smart. No. Bring, <laughs> bring back Turk Ferret. Bring back Justin Hammer. And reintroduce Janice fucking Lincoln. Okay. I want my beetle. I want my goddamn so, beetle. If, if anybody's still watching at this point, is it getting long? Please loop that and post it online. I want my beetle. Loop that. I want my beetle. No, no. I want, I want that. I want a sound bite of that. I'm going to sound bite that in the editing process and post it on Facebook. Janice Lincoln has one of my favorite quotes in the books at, of any comic book of all time. So, I think it's the, is, that, is that all for our rewards, do you think? Yes, that is all. Okay, so okay, so what do we want to talk about? Let's talk about the show before we get into the movie. No, let's do that show later. I mean, no, I'm saying let's do, I'm saying let's just do shows and then movies. I think it's a good idea. Uh, okay, what are the other shows? So we, so we, oh, so Secret so. Invasion, Secret Invasion. All right, let's... Okay, yeah, I saw Secret Invasion. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, so another <laughs> a Ben of Bendis storyline. Um, so Sam Yay, Jackson, more, more money for Bendis. <laughs> yeah, so Sam Jackson and the amazingly talented Ben Mendelsohn are back as Nick Fury and Talos the Untamed. Okay, so cool, I guess, right? Like, like here's the thing is the scrolls are good guys now right? yeah i know i heard, I heard secret invasion and i was like <clears> now <throat> I'm, i don't even have an opinion i don't even have an opinion i'm just curious because i hope, like, I, don't, I don't have a theory here's what i hope here's what i hope is that it's, it's a awesome. rogue question yeah no, i do I, the thing, the thing, I, I want so bad i don't want talos to be a villain no he's yeah, so, i love he's him as a like, hero. i love talos as a good guy this is my thing right yeah, I'm almost just so I'm I'm almost just intrigued. Like I'm so curious, you know. Yeah. Like I'm so curious. I'm kind of you know like what, I'll take whatever. F you though. You know what would be the biggest F you? Turns out the the Tony that sat the stingers was a scroll, and Tony is actually Robert Andrews is actually alive somewhere in a in a cell. And this whole and and all he talk about quitting was all part of like a PR stunt. Yeah. That would be if that was true, that would be <clears throat> did that that would be Disney would officially be worthy of <clears throat> at that point it's like why is Disney not running America? What well, Joe yeah. Biden? Forget Joe Biden. Disney should be president. It's the about the biggest oh my god, that's amazing, and also biggest F you. Like, it's also the biggest oh my god, they hid that. They hide yeah. intelligence. Disney <clears throat> If you think about it, didn't he hide intelligence better than most first world countries? Yeah. <laughs> like, yo, dude, like, we're, like, we're never Infinity War, how nothing leaked about Infinity War or Endgame. They even also, they even make fake fake news by getting Yondu on set. No, no, no like, nothing leaked. And then every once in a while, you hear about the U.S. government accidentally leaking intelligence, and I'm just like, <laughs> if the implication here is supposed to be that Disney is better at, at keeping secrets than, like, the U.S. government. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, so, no, but yeah, so here, here, I, what I think the, what I think the show is going to be about is Fury and Talos discover no. the scrolls have invaded. So it's so so Fury's the espionage guy. He's the guy who has no. the, who has who has who understanding of, of Earth's culture. Talos is the scroll, so he could figure out let's find other scrolls. Got it. Yeah. No, and, uh, the, uh, next, why don't we talk about I am group? Wait. Off- well, before we go back, do you think the super scroll is going to be? I have no idea. I I don't think it's gotta so. be think, right. The super scrolls gotta be. I think they'll stay the first impact of four. True. Yeah. Right. So I, I think I, I wanna I wanna talk about I am Groot, then Hawkeye, and then I wanna end it out talking about the holiday festival because we're still close to Christmas. All right. <laughs> I think I, I think our last show before we get to the movies, let's just make our last show of a holiday festival because that sounds <clears> fun. Yeah. All right. I am Groot. 
It looks cute. That's all. Yeah, I'm it looks really cute. I, I, I had no opinion on Iron Groove. It, it, it sounds incredible. <clears throat> Hawkeye, go ahead. Have fun. I love fucking Hawkeye. You were prepared for that, weren't you? Yes. Hawkeye is my favorite Marvel character. One of my is Hawkeye, my all my all time favorite Marvel character is Kate Bishop Hawkeye. Second, like Paul Clayton Barton, I love, adore Kate Bishop. Is but like Clint Barton, cool, but he's not hot. <laughs> no, I don't give a shit. Clint Barton is awesome. He is funny. Jeremy Renner is perfect casting for Clint Barton. Oh yeah, yeah. He's funny. He's it, charismatic. It, it, just saying, just saying. We're not saying Jeremy Renner is the perfect guy ever, though. No, we're, we're not endorsing. We're not saying we agree with Ashton. He had taken it to that. Oh, yeah, that's what, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're, we're, just, just, we're not saying he can do no wrong. That would be, he, he, <clears throat> he makes mistakes. Yeah. Okay, but Clint Barton and Kate Bishop are my favorite Marvel, com- not just Marvel, comic book characters, period. Yeah. Okay. And I'm so angry whenever somebody says a Hawkeye is a useless character in the MCU. Uh, the defense who brought it depends. I feel like in the earlier movies, like in the earlier movies, yes, but from Age of Ultron onward, they made him like I think even the Russo brothers said, like again, Ke- Ke- it's not not Kevin Feige. The Russo brothers said they wrote Hawkeye to be a mutant because they said no human being is this good at being an archer. Yeah, no. So I hope that Kevin Feige, like down the line when they introduce X and that would be super cool. They're like Hawkeye. super cool. He's, oh yeah, Hawkeye is a mutant. That would be dope. Um, uh, yeah, so, so this new show is very similar to um, uh, it's a little mix between the Matt Fraction and Kelly Thompson runs of Hawkeye. Okay, can I Matt say Fra- it, it, anything Matt, Matt Fraction? Uh, yeah. Um, Matt so, Fraction's one of those guys. If you're adapting a Matt Fraction run, you're, you're Kelly, on the right track. Also, Kelly Thompson. She got she is on a war on a award winning Hawkeye series. This is what you know, got hadn't she won a uh, what what are, what are the award for com a uh, uh, an Edner? He's won an Edner, I believe. Yeah, and this is a uh, so you know so for people who don't know about Kate Bishop, Kate Bishop was a Hawkeye's Clint Barton's protege after he became Ronin, like in the movies. He kind of had a mental break and became a vigilante serial killer. Yeah. Um, so Kate, Kate Bishop is a young woman. Currently, she was trained by... Honestly, he probably should be in jail. <laughs> yeah, she was trained by Clint Barton. I think you know, the new show is also going to tackle what he did as Ronan and who he pissed off. Oh, good. I, I'm happy to address that. And not he killed movie. a Wolverine villain. That's got to piss somebody off. Yeah. In, 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 in Endgame, the guy he kills is an X-Men villain. Yeah. But so as so a Kate Bishop, she was trained by Hawkeye in art and archery and fighting skills, and Jessica Jones in detective skill skills. So she's wow. got two different superhero mentors. So she's a private detective, genius, like a genius archer. She her one of the things that she can see anything, everything around the room at once. She's like perfect spatial awareness, like almost Daredevil level spatial awareness. But she kind of like makes she's a tech. She makes mental notes. Everything's going on. She's like, this guy's probably gonna, this guy's a brand bent arm. He's gonna hit me in this direction. This kind of thing. Very yeah. Sherlock Holmes like. And so they already announced other characters like um, Swordsman, who I don't really, I don't get. You know anything about Swordsman? No. Me neither. Yeah. But <laughs> I don't really care. Have, I know they 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 have a perfect actor to play him. Who's uh, it's um. Uh, As an actor, nobody knows. <laughs> uh, Lalo, no, it's Lalo from Better Call Saul, who has proven himself to be a badass care actor, because he jumps from a, in a in a show, a very grounded, realistic show. He climbs into a vent, jumps down, lands on his feet, and snaps the guy's neck. Hey, and that's cool. pretty ground. So he's he's proven himself to be a badass. Yeah. They also announced um, a couple of characters. They they announced um, uh, the the uh, tracksuit Dracula's. Yeah. The clown as the villains. The clown and the tracksuit Dracula are going to be those. At least I think we're going to be the villains. And they also announced this would uh, kind of bugs me is Kate Bishop's mom, which yeah. is not well, a huge part of the Thompson run. Is Kate Bishop has not seen her mother since she was a little girl because. Well, how do we know? Word I I was wondering if they get into TV show, we see her like. We are seeing in like the first episode her last memory. The set photos show her with swordsmen. 
but the yeah, Gauntlet Swordsman no, in what, same, with Kate Bishop and uh, adult Kate Bishop in the same. Well, state. first of all, don't trust that though. That's true. But what, what I'm wondering, what I what I would assume is if they haven't seen each other, if, if, if that part of the character, what I would assume would be that it's like a, a you know we'll see a scene early on in the show where she's like with her mother and it'll be like flashback like filter and then and then it and then it will be like I don't remember that you know what I mean. Perhaps, but like they know, but like in the comics, and, and of course, we don't know, villain. we don't know the kind of pacing these shows are gonna have. But again, like the mom's a super villain, so I'm wondering, I'm hoping they don't make her the mom, make her the villain of the story. I, like, I don't know. The clown is the clown, Traxy Dracula's, they're very good one off villains or side villains. They're not interesting enough to be main threats. Yeah, so dude, who knows? I mean, we don't know enough. Anyway, Kate Bishop. The, uh, we, the, 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 dude, we have a less that footage of this than we have a Myth Marvel. Yes, I mean, we know, anyway, we yes, know so. nothing. But why don't we wait until, until there's at least a sizzle reel? Yeah, so anyway, my final uh, uh, sense is uh, I am really, this is the thing I'm most excited for. And also, if there's any show you could introduce Jessica Jones in, it's the show where her, where her protege shows up. Yeah, and I believe they're coming out when they'll have the right back. Yeah, so it, it, the Hawkeye's like two years away, right? Mm-hmm. No, yeah. uh, it's the end. The end of the, the, the end of uh, twenty one. Twenty one. Then they may not have Jessica Jones. Somebody in the comment, correct me. I had no idea. Yeah, um, <clears throat> Jessica Jones' okay. license ends. Uh, but yeah, I'm very no. excited for it. No, okay. So uh, yeah. this is gonna this is gonna be my show. This is my Marvel show. That really yeah. Okay. Fun. So. Not to talk about the thing that I think everybody saw and just burst into hysterical laughter when they saw. Yeah, I think and I, what what and just simultaneously went not like with Secret Invasion when we were all like intrigued when we did, <clears throat> this one was just what the okay. hell? Okay, I get. Um, like, I think the, my, my favorite Guardian, reaction to it is yeah. I'm gonna plug in on a person. I think my favorite reaction I've seen to it was gonna plug in on the thing is. Uh, Eric from Blind Wave, where he's like, oh no, because both me and Eric think about the same thing, is the Star Wars holiday special was considered one of the worst things Star Wars has ever done. Do so a TV holiday special, and both anybody who knows who's heard of the holiday special will get, get PTSD flashbacks when they announce Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Okay, but let's talk about it. Guardians of the Galaxy holiday Eric, special. I am I'm scared. Like, no, I'm not. Want to know why? I'm scared. I'm also intrigued because James Gunn, he's a great director. No, no, we, we, we're gonna win, we're gonna win no matter what. And you you want to know how? Want to know what we're gonna win at? What? Christmas mistake from James Gunn. Oh God. So we won. Like no matter what happens, James Gunn will release that. The we'll, 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 the soundtrack will be. Okay, here's what I want. I want to see. I want to see uh, Bruce Springsteen. Sing. Bruce got to be Bruce Springsteen. You got to have Bruce Springsteen and Springsteen, Springsteen there. Like, I'm, I think I'm going to go out on a guest and and say it's just going to be them. I I'm like their ship hanging out and living there, and like Peter Quill or whatever the status quo for them in post Guardian Three. It'll be Life Day or group or like Tree Day. No, I think I think it will be Peter Quill teaching them about Christmas. <laughs> Hang on. I don't baby, know. Baby I don't know. Jesus. I don't know what to say Jesus. about the going to the Galaxy Hall. Jesus, Jesus though. No, he grew, No, he died. He died sacrificing for our sins and then resurrected from the dead three days later. Grew is Jesus. Somebody email Jane God and tell him that and tell him that Peter Quill make a joke about group being Jesus Christ. Also, Quill's also Jesus. He's technically the son of God. God. Damn it! Shut up. <laughs> we got Stop. two Jesuses. We got two. We also got one Antichrist, since Gamora's kind of the Nebula, kind of the daughters of the devil. We're a dick. Huge dick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I only have much else to say on this. It sounds yeah. important. I, I trust Jane Gunn. I call, <clears> I'm <throat> nervous, it'll be, it'll be but I also to trust God. Great way to bring Howard Duck in. Have him have him be the one telling the story. He'll be reading a book saying. Gather round, children. Let's read a nice story. Yeah, no, but this is my thing. Um, this is my thing, though. I trust Jane Gunn. Like Guardians, the Guardians movies are so good. 
and every like I you know what I mean like the Guardians of the movies are arguably from a critical from like a technical standpoint some of the most well made MCU movies. Yeah. Like even you just disregard your personal feeling, they're just really well made films. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I trust Gunn to do the right thing. I trust <laughs> I trust Gunn to make a good movie. You, you yeah. know. We're good. So, Half hour special. Yeah, and you know what? It's also going to be filmed. It's, it's going to be, and you know, unlike the Star Wars special, this is Disney Plus. It has a budget of a movie. Yeah, I was, well, I was just going to say that. Yeah, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to have a budget. It's going to be good. You no, know, it's going to have a budget. The actors are going to be paid. They're going to film it while filming three. Hopefully, none. Hopefully, like unlike Carrie Fisher, or Prince Leia, none of the none of the characters will be high while filming it. Well, no, but they're going to film it alongside Guardians of the Galaxy three, so that won't happen. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You don't. You don't know, man. You don't know. You don't know. Like, I, I mean, who knows? Okay, so okay, so I think we're done. So I think we're done with all the shows. So now onward, because this has been going on a while. No, and no, no. You know what would be the be, the greatest reference to Hollywood special they could do? I would wait. I, hold on. No, we uh, forgot a show. She Hulk. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, never mind. Fuck, okay. fuck our holiday special. Wait, yeah, okay. right. wait. Hold on. Hold on. She Hulk. Is there something wrong with like is, 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 is She Hulk like that unanticipated by people that we just forgot? <laughs> no, you forgot about it. I've been waiting for it. I forgot this was a freaking show. I thought like I, I'm so I'm so I'm I'm almost offended. I offended by myself. <laughs> well, let's I talk about She Hulk then. I love she Hulk sounds Hulk. awesome. <laughs> hey, Jennifer Walters by Tatiana Mansley, who is an amazing actress from Perry Mason. I love that show. Yeah. Um, she's a great actress. I, I've not seen much of her comedic roles, and that's what I'm wondering, because She-Hulk in the comic books is a comedy. There's yeah, little... She-Hulk is a funny, is a comedy character. She was Deadpool before about. Deadpool was. She was the fourth wall breaker for Deadpool. You know, she was like one of the first comic book characters to do it. Yeah, and she actually was able, she actually did it more, like, better than, more than Deadpool, because Deadpool... Well, I, 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 I think her was more, her, she was more classy about it, yeah. No, because she would rip pages and have to time travel and shit like that. Like, yeah, well, uh, let's just talk about the actual show, though. Let's not okay, get so too deep into it. Someone... We still have like seven movies to talk about, and we've been going for over two hours. Yes, yeah, so announced. Um, so Mark Ruffalo is Bruce Banner. Who, Obviously. And who, well, I told you there's a somebody there's a theory that I heard that I really want to do where Bruce Banner runs for president, and I love that idea. I want yeah. that to happen. Yeah, I don't know, but uh. And Tim, a bomb Tim Roth coming yeah. back. Tim Roth, we're trying to get a bomb. They didn't expect that because they like to pretend that movie didn't happen. Because here's the thing about Abomination. I thought he was good for what they gave him, but they, I would like that they expanded on him more. Well, that's what they're doing. Yeah, because he was a good villain. He was a, a crazy, scary villain. But even before he became Abomination, I want to see more of him, but like the movie itself didn't yeah. get him. Unfortunately, we just, it must have speculated. We don't know. We don't even know the run it's based on. We know nothing about this show. I'd assume, I, I'd assume it's going to be the most, like, there's like, one of my theories is going to be either Law and Disorder or, um, or a single green female, which is, because Kevin Feige said it's going to be about her as a lawyer. Single green female is, gonna, is her about being a lawyer. You know, and then uh, the only yeah, so the only thing we know, we, for some reason, this is the show, even though she was cast forever ago, this is the show that we have, like, the least information on, really, but that, that like, it's coming soon. Well, Feige said that, and this is what gives me the most Daredevil vibes here, is that he said, because she's a, law, a superhero lawyer, other superheroes will shoot Marvel Dude, characters. Dude, that's not even Daredevil vibe. He, 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 you winking. have to. Daredevil was the only other superhero lawyer in the I No, he's winking and nodding. He's like, yeah, another yeah, superhero lawyer. At least just mention Nelson and Murdoch. Stop, throw, throw. I, no, I think Charlie Cox will be in it. Okay, I want Charlie Cox, Eldon Hansen, and uh, Deborah Ann Wall to show up okay, as so, Nelson and Murdoch. So, uh, so is, that, is that it for that movie? Uh, I only have myself uh, that. Uh, here, well, I just want I want Shield to be funny. I want it to be smart. I agree. I want it to be good. Like it's, it's I want it to be good. Like there's nothing I really yeah. want. I want it. Like, she Hulk's cool. She Hulk's a cool character. I that's, that's pretty awesome. She's in my top ten favorite Marvel characters. Like I like She Hulk. I love. No, Marvel. but the thing is, Hulk is Hulk is cool. Make yeah. a good show about She Hulk. Like I only have please any don't, expectation. Please I don't want it to make be good. her. Don't make it the new version of She Hulk where she's dumb. Yeah. I want to have a single green female. Okay, so. The, I'm just going to throw this out there now. We're not talking about it. We're not going to get into it. It's a whole nother discussion and whether or not this is the right decision or the wrong decision, but it's not about Marvel. That's too, this is too real world. Black Widow is, is too, 
being projected to release May 7th next year. That is all. I don't think that's going to happen. You, yes or no, then we're moving on. If the vaccine thing happens, hopefully, yes. Yeah, I, I don't think you're going to. I'm not, I'm not going to hold my breath. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think, I, I don't think this is the right call. I think they should just put it out on Disney Plus, like, like, like what WB is doing with with Wonder I know, Woman. I know that. But, I know. Yeah, some some of the actors are suggesting things. Put on Disney Plus, man. Like, yeah, from the maybe from the Black Widow movie. Mm-hmm. At that point, they're just like, come on. Like, All right, so what can we say quickly about about Black Widow? Like, no, no, nothing. I don't uh, think we need. I to want. Uh, here, here's the thing. There's the big theory, but I don't even want to do with so much to get through. We're we're charged. I don't think we even need to talk about Black Widow. I mean, yeah, Tony point, Masters. I, I hope to God it's not the theory I'm hearing that it's going to be uh, Black Widow's mom or like his mother, her mother figure playing being Taskmaster. I want the Brooklynite Tony Masters, the stereotypical Brooklyn Italian. Yeah. But you know what? At this point, at this, at this point, you know, you know what I want out of Black Widow? What? I want it to come out. Yeah. <laughs> at this point, like, you can make Taskmaster. Oh, yeah. I, for, like, I completely forgot about this. The actress from Black Widow, um, yelling, the, the Dark Widow. Y- yeah. Yell, y- y- yelling Yelling yeah, Hawkeye. You know, like at this point, screw Taskmaster. It could be a, it could be a, like a mentally challenged hobo from from New Orleans for all I care. I didn't want the movie to come out. <laughs> but okay, no, I was wrong. No, that's a fifth member of the Song of Thunderbolts I never mentioned. Yeah, the Dark Widow. Okay, so why don't we talk about a movie that that we have to have news and new information to discuss? A movie that we're not just waiting for it to come out from, right? Mm-hmm. Why don't we talk about the big one, the big reveal? We'll save, but we'll save the sad one last for like later, not for last, but for later. As you want me to get the sad one out of the way, Black Widow, uh, Black Panther two will release on July eighth, two thousand twenty two. T'Challa will thank God not be recast. <clears throat> the story will continue and focus on other characters. I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't really want to talk about it or speculate. I just know it will be good, and I, and I will accept whatever they do. Yeah, um, like, um they can do anything. I'm not gonna care. Somebody, somebody's gonna replace replace her. Like somebody replace her. Gonna be I think Gary will probably become Black Panther. I, I don't know. I, like I feel like the actress like herself had a problem with it because she one of them. She didn't want to film it because she didn't want to have to wear a mask. I heard. Heard some, some. Oh God! Is she a Maguire? Is she a Maguire? Is she, is she female Maguire? Yeah, she didn't want to wear a mask. I heard. Like, don't quote me on this. But like, I heard something like that. Um. Yeah. No. So, um, do you have anything to say on that? Not really. Uh, no, kind of it. I don't have much to say about this. Yeah, so you, so you have nothing to say on that. Yeah. Yeah, neither, neither do I. We're not going to talk at, at any more lights about Black Panther. I, <clears throat> it's because the situation is, it, 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 it's too real. To, like, I don't want to be speculating about a movie like that. Yeah. Like Kevin Bobman died. Like, <clears throat> it, like I, I don't care what they do. What they'll do, they're going to do their best. But, but but what I want them to do is do their best to do it. <clears throat> To hell with the movie. I don't care about, about the story. Do their best to do it while respecting Chad with Bowen. That's all I care about. All right. Now, what about let's be, let's do Blade. Okay. No, I don't. There, there, no. There's, no, I mean, there's no new information on Blade. Let's talk about what we what the world. Well, what, what do you think of Blade? Do you know? Like, do you what? Do you, are you are you excited? What do you think? I'm of excited movie? for Blade. There's no information on it. Like, literally, Blade is the only movie we literally got nothing on yesterday. That's true. I'm wondering. No, if that's so like, like you want to talk about Blake? We can talk about why don't we wait until we can we can do another one of these when we have actual information. All right, let's cut this scene out then. No, I, I'm not gonna. I won't cut this out. It's not a big deal. No, but uh, let's, talk talk about, let's talk about the big one that we got information on. We got John Watt, Spider-Man director, Fantastic Four. Yeah, I think he's a good 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 directing idea for choice. Uh. My question is, is Mr. Vendessa going to be black? Because they announced Kang the Conqueror is black, and that's I, his ancestor. I'm holding out for Jonathan Kardinsky. Oh, yeah, and uh, Emily, Emily Blunt. I'm maybe out for Jonathan Kardinsky and Emily Blunt. I think they're going to do I, 
I'm a whole and you know, you said you wanted them to already have Franklin and Valeria. Yeah, I, I want them to just do it. I, I, I well, why will she be called Valeria if is, is Doom around? Like, I, I like, would, I would say Doom has been around. I, I. They're gonna have to retcon it because Doom's in control of the country. You're gonna have to retcon the country into the MCU. That is true. Like, no, like, like, not, no, you know what would be actually kind of cool is if Latveri is built over Sokovia. No, no, they're gonna have to retcon Valeria. But no, we do what I think they do. What retcon Valeria? And like you know that it was always there. Have Doom. Have it be. The Doom has kind of just been killing, minding its own business, right? Mm. And, or whatever. Do, do whatever with Doom. I don't care about Doom. Um, I, I also want Doom. I, I want Doom, like, because a lot of no, people... No, I just want to say, let's talk about the actual Fantastic Four. I, mean, I don't think Doom will even be in the first movie. Yeah. So let's talk about the actual... You know, with, when, they, when they cast Doom, I do want a, an actor of Romani descent, because that's yeah. kind of a part of his origin. And they always make cast him to be white, and that always bothered me. You know, but I do want to say that. I think what I would do is have it be that they got stuck in like, that like at some point years ago, maybe like 10 years ago or whatever, earlier on, they went and got like stuck in the negative zone for like the time span of maybe like the 90s. Like maybe, a little, maybe around Captain Marvel, they went into faith after Captain Marvel got hit with Cosmic Ray and Early and then the early stuff happened. They fought the mole man. They came, you know, they became a fantastic. Four. They, you know, they had their children. Read and do. Man, I'm so sick of the movie during the read and do romance. I don't care. Like read and do got married in like the seventies. Like for the entire history of the fantastic four. And Franklin was born in like the eighties. Valaria was born in like eighty in like late nineties, early nineties. Mm-hmm. Like Valaria and Franklin have been around forever. As have Reed and Sue been married. But that's it for are called the family of Marvel. Give them their children. Give us husband, wife, uncles, and children. Give us that. Mm-hmm. Like just give us give us what is the Fantastic Four should be the Incredibles? I've always said that. Literally, the, the Incredibles are everything. Are that kind of concept? It's not the exact same thing, but that's what they are. They're a family of adventurers, and there's two kids. Just do it. And you know what you do? Age up the kids. Obviously, you know you can't have a three-year-old Valaria. Obviously, the whole mm-hmm. point is he's a genius. Age them up. I I think you what you do? You damn slot. You damn lost one and had them be like 10 and 15. Okay. Hmm. That's what Dan Slott did. He was like, hey, I'm gonna age up my Glenn Valaria so I can like give so I can like do like romance <clears throat> and things like that. Yeah, and he also I love do like so, and I do like that they kind of for Dan Slott, he drew uh Reed and Stu to be much older to explain why his kid their kids are older. Yeah, no, just do that. So what I would do is maybe have it. You you do you could have this where they got trapped in another dimension, in another uh, universe. Mm. Oh no, that's what you could do. You could have it though after the cosmic. They got Ray. trapped in the universe of the two thousand of the two thousand five version or the two thousand fifteen version. No, they got and they're so slowly going insane because of how bad it was. No, no, they get trapped in another universe. The negative and, one. No, and they raised their children, and and that most of in the story. Before it takes place there, and then they find, but the, like it's like it did a did there something different about it that they, they want to go home, like maybe just like a time limit, like they can only be there for five years before they like die by like Spider Verse, like if they don't go home. You see what I'm getting at? Then they go home, then eventually they go home. So like, but you could have the early story take place on a different Earth. That's how you can explain them not having superheroes. Hmm. That's how you can explain Iron Man being like the first modern day superhero. Okay. Um, but, I mean, that's all I really have to say. I mean, do you have anything else? I mean, the, uh, no. I I, I feel like Doom will be a post. I feel like Doom will be a post credit scene. I hope he'll be a post credit scene. Yeah, I don't want it to be the villain in the first movie. That's stupid. All right, let's do Captain Marvel two. Captain Marvel two. Miss Marvel's Kamala's gonna be in it, so I'm happy. Oh, Tom and Miss Marvel coming in. 
Yeah, but I'm, I'm just happy because that implies <laughs> to me that Carol will be in, Ms. in, in the Miss Marvel show. Did that imply that they'll have a pre-existing relationship? I don't think they would want to focus on Carol meeting her in Captain Marvel 2, but that would be more of a Miss Marvel thing. Mm. Like that, they meeting Carol Danvers, Miss Mar- Carol meeting Kamala isn't a big deal. Kamala meeting Carol is a big deal. It's the other way around. So I think they'll meet in Miss Marvel, and then Miss Marvel will show up in uh, they'll meet <laughs> they'll meet in Miss Marvel, and then Kamala will show up in uh. Captain Marvel 2. Photon is in it, which is awesome. We're gonna yeah, get our um, first we're gonna get our first look at her though in January. In one division. In one division, yeah. So that'll be cool. <clears throat> I don't I don't I don't know enough about it. I'm hoping we get to see her like actually go and fight like the Supreme Intelligence and like fight the planet. I I always feel kind of blue balled that we didn't get to see that. Yeah. Um, what else did they confirm? Uh they also confirmed, once again, you were correct. Um, wow. Thor, Love and Thunder will feature Christian. Uh, Alexa, do you have anything else to say on Captain Marvel 2? Uh, not really, no. Yeah, no, we don't know. Okay, we don't no, know. No, no, I, no, I want them to explore her relationship with War Machine because they kind of tease it in Endgame. And Maybe, they yeah, they, 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 they didn't imply it, yeah. So, but aside for that, Thor, Love and Thunder. We are going on like three hours. I was right again. Hours. Anything I say is scripture now, yeah. nerds. Yeah, so Christian Bale will will join the <laughs> cast of Thor, Love and Thunder as the villain. You're the God Butcher! Yeah, in theaters, May 6th, 2022. Is that cool? Like, I don't have anything else to say. Like, I knew Christian Bale was going to be in it. I think Christian Bale will be great. We still don't really know what the movie's about. Uh, uh, the uh, Natalie Portman said it's going to. It is based with heavily inspired off of the Mighty Thor storyline, where she's dying of breast cancer. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, where I don't, where, where the hammer makes her powerful, but it also makes her immune. To poison. Here's my question: Where the hell did she get the hammer? Though? <laughs> I know, but do you? But no, it's actually. I really, I want them to explore this thing. Is that the hammer? Whenever she picks up the hammer, she becomes all powerful. She's because she's dying in a hospital bed. She gets up, she becomes all powerful. But it also makes her immune to poisons, so it clears out all the chemo in her body, so she becomes sicker as a result. Yeah, no, no, but my question is, where is she getting the hammer? Because Thor will still so Thor. They said, they said they're somehow gonna. She's gonna have Mjolnir. there. How are they gonna rebuild it? Or they That's gonna... what I'm. Well, because Thor has Stormbreaker. I get you could <laughs> make a new one. You can make a Stormbreaker. You can make a Mjolnir, right? Yeah, but. Uh, for, yeah, for, but, for, for, but also, but also, like they retcon the power. I also don't really understand how the hammer works. The yeah, hammer doesn't really make any sense either. <clears throat> no, it's you must be worthy if you're like pure, a pure, pure, pure. Heart. No, but but like because in the, in Ragnarok they say the hammer wasn't actually what mattered. It was just Thor himself. It was his power. He said, "Well, well, they said they said it, it, it was like." But then it, Captain it, it, America it, can wield it. Oh, I'm, one, I'm wondering if Thor will redo the enchantment. That means Thor would need to well, redo. What, what they kind of imply is that the hammer itself, it it, uh-huh. it it serves as a conduit for Thor's lightning powers, but it also absorbs his power. So if you if you if you're sort of another person like Cap uses it, you he literally literally possesses the power of Thor. He takes some of Thor's. Yeah, I guess. Thing. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. But so here's the thing, Gore the God Butcher. It, like Gore the God Butcher, I was the reason I wanted him to be the villain is because it would be a really interesting thematic choice. Because his story is that he was an alien who a very deeply religious alien, and he believed the gods would protect him no matter what. His wife, his mother, and his child died. And he's like, God should if, if my they if God can't exist if my, if if like if, if, if my family dies on his watch. Why how would a god exist? And he finds out, yeah, Thor exists, and it pisses him off. Yeah, no. Why are I, you not there to save my family? So, yeah, so I don't really have much else to say. No, like, that, how is that not a beautiful idea, though? Where, I, know, I do like that. I do mortal, like the idea. A mortal it, gains godhood, 
and a mortal who and a fight that is being haunted by a mortal who feels rejected by the gods. And yeah, I do like the idea that in a universe where they're god, where god, where gods are real, that they're like, wait a minute, why are you guys letting all this horrible stuff happen? And, and also, like, you're letting some fucking rando become one, and not help, instead of helping. You're this letting this, this bitch, this random bitch from Earth, become god. Also, it's also a great way to introduce Venom into the MCU. Because the sword gut he uses is own is they're his, not gonna do that's not gonna no it's null's all black blade it's made of symbiotes it's that's a the null's main thing is that his 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 sword has ten tendrils yeah no so uh but that do you have anything else do we have anything else I have nothing I don't have anything else today uh I just want yeah yeah I want I want no I want them to explore the the philosophical connection between Jane and Gore and I want null to be teased or at least. Yeah. The all black, the all black blade. So now we can. So I think we only have one more thing to talk about before we quickly start wrapping up. Um, which is, by the way, the best Marvel movie yet. The best Marvel movie yet. The, the Marvel movie with best title. The best title of all the Marvel movies. Ant Man and the Wasp. Quantum Mania. Quantum Mania. So it's Kang the main villain. I thought they were saying. Yeah. Like Kang is the main villain of Ant Man and the Wasp. I thought yeah. going to be the next Thanos though. Like, so is he going to be? I, I guess I guess he being into I guess they're introducing but that's that off the Ant Man and the Wasp. So is he gonna be like a teaser or is he gonna be? No, I think he's gonna be the big bad. And I think he'll, he'll he'll probably he'll probably escape at the end. Hmm. Like why why he's not even an Ant Man villain? They could have done Modok or Egghead. I mean, who the hell? Because, 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 because it's gonna be a time travel story because of probably. Hmm. And you know Ant Man Ant Man has now in the interesting you Ant Man is linked it. It's forever linked to time travel. So, um, so now they go in. So now, now the MCU now has officially three members of the Young Avengers: uh, Wiccan, Cassie, and Kate. Well, I thought I'm just that. Do what I think they're gonna do. What? I think they're gonna merge champions and Young Avengers into into, and they're, they're gonna pick a name. Mm. If it's, so, it's a little bit. It's what I always say about Teen Titans and Young <laughs> Justice. They're basically in concept the same thing. Yeah. So like. I, I feel like they'll probably just make a champion. I feel like they're gonna call it champions because Marvel is pushing champions right now. Like Yeah. I mean, like there's a champion book, but there's not a young Avenger book. But I feel like the champion the champion show will be like Miss Marvel, Kate Bishop, and like other of and like Stasker, Ironheart, yeah. and Wiccan. Like Okay, like I I'm I'm almost wondering if they're I'm almost wondering if they're gonna do something different and make it and make it an A Force show, but it's all teenage girls. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, sorry, yeah, the, you know, all the teenage character being introduced that we that we Wicked maybe. Uh, yeah, I mean, and, and isn't that kind of weird if they're trying to build up Young Avengers that all the characters are girls? Yeah, like so. Well, well I, I'm wondering though if, if there'll be other male characters introduced in the in those shows. Like, like there's no, there's no reason there can't be an episode of Kate Bishop of, of Kate Bishop Hawkeye where Kate Bishop just happens to meet a mini uh, somebody named Haw Haw uh, a Hulkling. There's no reason they can't just be like. You're Hulk, the could, Hulkling would be an interesting to be introduced in Secret M- Secret uh, Invasion. No, exactly. you see my point. Like, there's no reason that they can't have an episode of Miss Marvel where she meets another teen hero. Oh, they could. I think Red Dagger. Uh, Red Dagger is a teen hero. This is a Miss Marvel yeah. character. They could talk Red Dagger on there. I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna combine character from Young Avengers and <clears> Champions, <throat> and I feel like they're gonna call it Champion because Marvel is really post Marvel, and that they were planning on doing Young Avengers. I don't think they would have both. They, they would be pushing the champions so much right now. All right, now let's let's talk about just two more things on on our agenda that we need to talk about. Doctor okay. Strange and Spider Man. Oh, I thought that's a whole big guy. Multiverse of Madness. So they've already they've announced like yeah. Skull, which is going to be a part of it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Baron, Baron Mordo is going to be in it. So is he, he can be the villain. Of this Baron Mordo, or I don't Strath know. or Nightmare be parts of it. I feel like I feel like I think he may be a part of the villain for three. Because uh, I think Shuma Gorath would be the, the villain. Can I just think? Can I say no? I just, I just realized something when you said Spider Man. You know what that is? What Spider Man has had the quickest trilogy out of any out of any character of the MCU. 
Oh my god, yeah. Like the only one that comes close is Iron Man. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, well, it's been what three years? <clears throat> yeah. No, it hadn't been three, obviously not three years, but it's been like <clears throat> four years. It'll be it, four years. It'll be four years when it comes it's out. It's homecoming, right? Yeah. Uh, so I, uh, so here, so well, who are the characters they've either announced or rumored to be in? in, in oh in, my uh, god! I, I honestly, I'm thinking just maybe a separate show. <laughs> We've got hands. We got so we got Malcolm and Lena back as Doc Ock. He's yeah. dead. Are they gonna are they gonna have a villain to bring him back from the dead, or are they just gonna ignore that fact? Black, it's not. Oh, wait, wrong universe. <laughs> yeah, like because we saw his body. He's the power of the sun at the bottom of the bay, man. Like dead. I don't know what's that. Any Fox is Electro. I don't want him to be blue. I want him to wear this. Red like anything, I honestly, I don't know what they're doing with this movie. I'm, I'm really confused. You no, know, like the only one that, the only one that like, I'm, I'm genuinely excited for, and most people are, is the rumor Charlie Cox is back as Matt. Murray. That can, that's basically been confirmed. I still understand what you're doing with the movie. Like at first, I was like, oh, it's gonna be like, I'm like, is it a sinister fit? No. Now there are. Like, I would have, I would have loved to have heard. I would have loved. Now if, there's like really there's pressing six. evidence though that they're gonna do a uh, fighter verse. Yeah, if they just if they do Sinister Six though, I would have loved the title, uh, Home by Six. That would have been a great title for Sinister Six, and I stick by that. I just it's it, it's so, so this way. Wait, no. If they do do Sinister Six though, are they gonna fill it up with of alternate instead of having to waste movies on origins for other villains? They're just gonna get them from the multiverse. Oh, we don't have to. We don't want to waste time on Doc Ock and Electro, Melina, like um, uh, James Fox. Here we go. All right, so we got Doc Ock, Electro, Scorpion, Vulture, Mysterio, Tinkerer, Chameleon, or whatever the fuck, Venom, two. Morbius, something. We have, we have like we have like seven now. Let's let's just this is shit shit. Let's just kick the shit out of the city. Screw now, screw with that. It's their neck. We're about status or twelve, baby. Yeah. Like yeah. I don't know what they're doing. Like honestly, I don't have anything to say about Spider-Man. Damian Spider Lewis is Norman Osborn. You got it. And you got a good. You got a good film. Film. No, no, I, I, I don't. It's it's so out there and different. I don't even know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I don't even know what the plan is. <clears throat> it's been you. Like I, I, I have no idea. Like yeah, because Sp Spider-Man's because it's at, at, at a certain point, I just lost track of what the hell was going on with this movie. Spider-Man and and the X-Men are parts that are like, are like kind of they've been are been kind of muddled lately. Like they did it confirm like that um, Deadpool three is going to be in the MCU, but it's going to be only Deadpool will be aware that anything's changed. You know, and, and the, no, but then there's things like. Uh, the F men are even weirder because that just seems like we were talking yesterday. Apparently, Sophie Turner is like actively trying to remain a Jean Grey. Yeah, and like so, we were talking the other day also about how we could bring mutants back, and you said it would be like um, they've always been around, right? Yeah, so they've always been around. Something went really wrong. Professor X with the help of Jean Grey wipes their minds, and then a ton of X Men stories took place like in secret, <clears throat> and Jean Grey died. In one of them. So then, modern day, when Thanos snapped, it undid the it undid the mind wipe. But Xavier can't wipe everybody on the planet's mind alone. Yeah, mine was. I heard this from somebody else. So I, uh, I'm gonna give uh, the Carlson snap. The snap right? unlocked the SG, right? Uh, no, the X Men have been around for around. This is from a Carl Smallwood's theory uh, and fact So it's um, it's, uh, Magneto, Professor X, they've been around, but uh, instead of being Holocaust survivors, they're um. Uh, Jim Crow, they're from the 60s, Jim Crow, because they have to, because you have to explain they, they're not, they're 90 or, or 100 years old. Uh, they're mutants, they live longer. You just get Jim Carlos Pizzito as Magneto, and I'll be happy. This has, like, it'll be interesting, an interesting flip on the take on the character where he's black instead of being Jewish and all that like, black and Jew during Jim Crow, Deep South. But also, so yeah, so only a few mutants, only not very many enough for Magneto to be angry about it. Like, not enough. But then, you know, Snap makes the unlocks the X gene. So people, the reason people hate mutants is because they're like, Some of our family members got killed and you guys got powers out of the deal. Screw you. Yeah, it's more, it's more jealousy than hate and fear, yeah. Yeah. And so there's some of the ones that have already kind of still been around that are, are like, oh, wow, we have a lot more of us nowadays. Shit, uh, well, I'm going to be Magneto now. I'm going to have to step in and cause mischief. 
And Professor X is like, screw you, old friend, let's go. Make the X-Men. Yeah, I, I don't like that as much. I, I, I like the multi the decades long. I like the long rich history. I would, I would like it if the X-Men were a thing from the 90s. And then that's going to add my idea. Like in the nine, bring like Halle Berry back because she is, she is like, she looks, she's like, she's like, she's like, she's like I kind of, I kind of want this to get Sophie Turner another shot. I feel bad. You know, she, 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 heck of a half a beat. You know, I know she'd be have, um, uh, have her be Madeline Pryor, a clone, a younger clone of being great. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. <laughs> like, no. Bringing back the original Jean Grey to play her. Tomka Jensen and her no. have to be Okay, okay, wait. Yo, who played Jean Grey originally? Tomka Jensen. Jensen. You bring Jensen back. She played Jean Grey as like a teacher at the school. And then you introduce Dorothy <laughs> Turner, the new belated Jean Grey. As the okay. goblin queen Dorothy, Dorothy Turner. Dorothy Turner, for those who do, do not know her, is I think not the for Game of Thrones. Yeah, sounds like yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, bring back Sophie Turner, who played Jean Grey in Apocalypse and Phoenix. So you have the youngest, so you have the youngest woman to ever play the youngest woman to play Jean Grey in live action, and the oldest, the old, the youngest can play the can play can play the clone daughter, and the oldest can play the original as a teacher, and it will be amazing. <laughs> yes, no, 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 that, that's a great meta. First of all, they both. Look like Jane, like they could be. Yeah. Playing Jane. Then bring Kitty Pride, bring in Rogue as like the new generation. Have, no, bring, like, bring have Kitty as the new generation. Screw you, Kitty as the new generation. That's what I said. Have her be the new generation. I said, oh, Kid, I thought you said Rogue, Kitty and Kitty. Have Beast, Storm, Jean, and and Beast, Storm, and Jean as the and Cyclops as the original one. I, Don't yeah. bring Logan back. I want the Brim to bring X 23s actors like um a death. Hey, death, hey, death. hey, screw you. What, what the hell is this shit when you're forgetting my my, my man Bobby Drake? Okay, bring up have him. Was she, she yeah, Bob, be Bobby Drake was on the original X Men, you jackass. No, no, but she would she be a, a, a younger one or should be an older one? Older one, the, the original X Men should be the old no, but ask, the older X Men should be the first one. Also, strong Bobby Drake because be, Halle Berry was a great actress, and it would be a good way to bring her back. No, no, I, I think the original X Men should be the old one, I think they should do mo- and mo- Halle Berry. No, I feel, I feel like, Barry. no, do, do, do new X-Men. Do what they did with, with all, with the, the X-Men when they brought in the new team with Wolverine, with Wolverine. And, don't bring it, again, here's what, here's what we're going to do. Don't and, bring in Wolverine. Bring in Daphne Keene. They're, they're, and, they're, 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 they're already talking about bringing in Logan. Like, it's going to happen. It's just not really. I want them to hear, here, here's what I want. I know it's probably not going to happen. I want them, I want Daphne Keene not to not be X-23, but be the all new, all different Wolverine. Where that, they, is, they will never do that. <laughs> I want that. No, I want that. Going, she's, no. she's old enough and she's a good enough actress to play the all new, all different Wolverine. No, I, I, they're going to bring in, uh, well, they're going to bring, they're going to bring in. Uh, I know that uh, Jack, I know that Hugh Jackman. Uh, but the thinking of old enough, thinking, playing, I can tell right? you forgot to say it when we were talking about Wolverine, but uh, my God, it's mind blowing. They're recasting Kathy Lang again. I heard. Wait, that's a different actress from the from Endgame. Yeah, they're there. Well, I, you're, I'm kind of happy. She looks way too old. She looks older than Paul Rudd. <laughs> but she was like 16. Everybody said she looked like she was in her 30s. So she, 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 she did. She's like she's like the oldest 15 year old girl I've ever seen. Yeah, but that doesn't, doesn't make like she's actually actually six like eighteen. No, but you, you, she had like live. I I didn't believe it. I had to look it up. She had like live marks on her face. Do you see like her little line marks on her face when she's hugging him? Yeah. She looks like she's just like she's like thirty five. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's wrap this up. So, what do you what's what do you want to have for the future? Like after they after all the stuff is passed, what do you want to be for the future of the MCU? Honestly, I think I think I I think I have to wait. I want to see, I want to start. I want to see how the next how the not Netflix show, the Disney Plus show turn out. I mean, I, I feel I feel like the Disney Plus show may be the best part of the MCU going forward. Yeah, but I'm I not- feel like this may be a this may be a better way to tell superhero stories than movies. What I want out of the MCU after all this. Is to do like I want them to kind of do because they're doing a lot more storylines from the books nowadays. Yeah, they are. I want them to do 
uh, yeah, like bring back, bring back the Netflix sh- characters, bring those guys into in the MCU. I think they're gonna do that eventually. I don't, I they're definitely gonna bring in the girl who put bring in Jessica Jones and that girl again. Yeah, uh, Christian, because Christian Ritter and and Charlotte Cox, like who played Jessica Jones and Matt in their contracts for every any new show they yeah, get, they're like if Marvel offered him the job, we can leave. Yeah, but like so, yeah, bring back, bring have to have John Burkle be the Punisher as a recurring villain in the Spider Man movies. Like that's fine with me. Like a, like an actual, not 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 a character Spider Man works with because I I love John Burns, I love the Punisher, Hold but on. Peter, Peter won't work with them. So have him be a recurring threat to Peter or trying to kill Peter's enemies. Yeah, no, I'm 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 down with that. And also, also who I want is what yeah, Deadpool. The Deadpool. I want Deadpool to be a character. You know, you know, storyline I'd like them to do in the future though. What? Secret Wars and Dark Reign. Well, they're gonna do Secret War. The Russo brothers want to do it. The Russo yeah. brothers. Dark Reign, though. The Russo brothers made the made the most pop movement made the best selling. Yeah, movie no, yeah, time. they're. And they have said the only time they the only thing they would do is they would come back for is Avengers Secret War. So no, do do Dark Reign because then you could bring in Norman Osborn, get Damien Damien Lewis is an actor. I told you about this. Who looks he's from Billions? He's already played sociopathic billionaires over the top years, and he looks like freaking Norman Osborn. Have him show up in the Iron Patriot suit. It's already been established the Iron Patriot suit. Have him steal that. Him do some. Yeah, like, do Secret Invasion. He'll show up at the Secret Invasion and kill the Frank, the kill the Skrull Queen, and he'll start him. He'll start taking over, and also do do the new Daredevil storyline where Fist becomes mayor. So the two villains are now in charge. I don't know if the ending you was ground enough to do a, to do a Daredevil story with Mayor. Well, the, I, Wilson have Wilson Fist be mayor and have it just be like. The villains are in charge. How are the heroes going to deal with that now? I, I'm not being able to you would, that would work. The heroes don't really seem to... We, we don't see enough of them operating in the day they day system in the city. There's, most of the stories are so big scale. You know what I mean? Yes. It's like The heroes aren't going to be like, well, Mr. Mayor said I can't go fight Galactus today. I guess we're going to die! It's like, well, it's like, you know, it's kind of like how in, in Infinity War, they're like, yes, group, they, they, they enter the Sokovia court and they become irrelevant. The, the Avengers are just like, yeah, but I the, the world is in danger. So we're not going to go save the world anyway, guys. Bye. Yeah. So, but yeah. So, do Dark Reign, bring in like the Netflix characters, bring in Ghost yeah. Rider since he was already been a character. What I, I want to bring in my, my favorite console, to my favorite comic book of all time is the Thunderbolts. They've already got cast. Yeah, dude, I know. You, dude, why don't we do a whole episode about what we want to see in the MCU? But we've been going yeah. for three hours. Yes. All right. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, no. We, yeah, we've been going for three hours now. I th- and I have to edit this. So, if this, if you guys are liking this, let us know. This is basically a podcast. So maybe we'll do more of these if people like it. But, yeah. Um, Hope you guys enjoy. Tell us your thoughts on all the Marvel news in the comment section down below. And have a nice day. Any parting words from any of viewers who stuck around to listen to us, these jackass here, to listen and talk about Marvel for three hours? Excelsior. Did you know they're trying to copyright that? Yeah, I heard about that. That's really sad. (laughs) Peace out, guys. Yes.